<laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, you guys thirsty? Yeah, totally. Hey, what's to drink? Come on, let's see. All right, we got soda, OJ, purple stuff. So, hey, Sunny D. Yeah, go for it. All right. Hey, we always pick Sunny D. Why don't we try the purple stuff this time? Huh, yeah, why not? Did you guys find the Sunny? Wait, what are you doing? Nothing, Mom. We decided to try some of the purple stuff. Yeah, totally. Shut up, Billy. M Mom, you're, you're scaring me. David, put the purple stuff back in the fridge. Take your friends back outside and finish whatever strange, nondescript intramural game you were all playing. Whoa! I feel weird. Wait, you drank it? Just a cup, Mrs. C. Oh, oh my, oh my God, Tommy? <sighs> Are you happy now, David? You couldn't just drink the Sunny D like you always do. It tastes like orange, tangerine, and lime. Some healthy junk, too. Hey, wait. Is Tommy... Dead, son. <laughs> totally. What is this purple stuff? That purple stuff is half a gallon of pure, grade A, GHB. GHB? You mean... That's right. Liquid ecstasy. Holy shit. Language, Billy. Mom... Why do you have a half a gallon of liquid ecstasy in the fridge? Because, son, while kids go for Sunny D, everyone goes for liquid ecstasy. Especially a couple of deep pocket clients I have in the Russian mob. To totally. Billy, I will kill you. You know that, right? I, I don't believe this. Mom, you're a drug dealer? How do you think I afford this house, David? The food, the car, the clothes on your back with oddly no visible trademark logos. I don't see any other parent in these commercials. What? What? Oh man, Tommy's totally spazzing out of the floor! We gotta get him to a hospital. I've got a better idea. David, go out to the shed and get the shovel. Billy, grab that kitchen knife and finish the job. Are you... are you serious? Totally. Send me delight. Never ever try the purple stuff. This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They talk movies. They talk TV. They talk about how Cardi B and Nicki Minaj sound more like the names of Muppets than beefing rap stars. I'm your announcer Julie. And I'm just happy to not be the one female voice on this episode. The only way I thought these three knuckle draggers could get close to a woman would be through kidnapping. Wait. Oh dear God. Have they kidnapped Jeanette Ward? Am I an accomplice to it? Let the record show that I had nothing to do with any of this. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, Justin Polizzi and the probably abducted Jeanette Ward. Hello kids, welcome to another rousing edition of the Simplistic Reviews podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. And I'm joined by two guys who piss lightning and crap thunder and a fangirl whose adventures are anything but mundane. Chief Justice, Matthew Stewart. Chief of Medicine. Justin Polizzi and Chief of Staff for Sword or whatever she's wielding lately, Jeanette Ward. Good morning, guys. It's very early. Where's the recording? It's how you guys might be our earliest show ever. Yeah, it's the earliest show ever. I'm so tired. I'm, I'm breathing tired. heavy for some reason. We're all very exhausted. <laughs> that, that opening was a little much. A little, little much. A little much. <laughs> I'll make them shorter next time. Hey guys, welcome hey, to the show. Hey, we're, let's go. We're gonna we're gonna talk in this microphone for your Hi right, guys. Your, uh, what's a what's your, a pod? Your, Hearing pleasure. Pod, what's a what's a podcast? Is this a podcast? Podcast. A podcast. A podcast. A podcast. Podcast. So they say in the Upper West Side, I'm gonna do my podcast. Do my <laughs> it's podcast. like a, it's a it's a fucking senior citizens podcast because we're we're doing it at seven o'clock in the yeah. morning. Early bird, well, <laughs> early bird special. I gotta go to <laughs> Danish afternoon. Get my my fresh and fruity uh, pancake batter. Hey, let's not not the fresh and fruity, uh, the fresh and fruity, whatever it is, or the eggs. The <laughs> we don't even know what the hell it is. Fresh and fruity, or whatever it was. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't nobody know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's fresh and fruity. There's nothing wrong I with a pile of Just like it. us. I can eat it without teeth because it's so mushy. <laughs> uh, why do why do old people like to go to bed so early? <laughs> because they're who, dying, man. Who are you they're talking dying. to? There's nothing better than a day when you can go to bed at 8 p.m. and not feel guilty about it. That's yeah, true. I, true. I did pass oh, out on the couch on Friday like at 5 like o'clock. now. Like when I was younger, I was like, I want to go outside. Now I'm like, I just want some sleep. Right. <laughs> I know you I want your mom to send you to bed early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> up to your room. Mom, send me to bed. Sure, no video games. <laughs> you got it. You're grounded. 
It's like, thanks, mom. I get thanks. dinner. I get to finish all of this by myself. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what a society we live in. What happened to us? What are we? I don't know. What have we become? We used to be party what animals and doing blow. And I <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, You're thinking of the '80s when it was all hookers and blow, hookers and blow, <laughs> hookers and blow. Or micro dosing now and all those, what all that good stuff. Is that? What the fuck is that? I, and I'm I'm not gonna tell you that I've been practicing flossing at home in front of a mirror so I could keep up with the kids. But I've lost oh, got it. I don't even know what, what what's, flossing what's, means. What's the worst dance thing that's going on? I like that's the, the flossing thing. The, the, the tampon thing? Uh, no, that's a different string. Sorry, buddy. It's <laughs> wrong. Incorrect. I'm so the wrong, that's the wrong floss. Well, I like the one where that's the, the kid, they jump out of the car and then they get hit by the car. That's a cool little Oh, my thing. God. You know, those are Why fun. Are Isn't that the program? So stupid? Uh, no, the, the program, at least they had the decency to sit down in the media. <laughs> <laughs> These kids, kids are there was a movie called The Program back in the day where <laughs> yeah. uh, Sonny Corleone. That's right. When Sonny Corleone was a football coach. Mm-hmm. Now, didn't that come out around the same time as any given Sunday? Wasn't that during the time when everyone was like, we'll Oops. release two movies that are vaguely yeah. the same with slightly no. different titles? Yes, Bugs season. Life, Deep Impact, Armageddon. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that predated, was- I think, any given Sunday by like seven years. Okay. Did it? okay. Yeah, I can't tell. They're all the football. You know that DJ it was all based around FSU. It, it, don't, don't fucking remind me. <laughs> <laughs> and any given Sunday was it filmed in Miami? Yeah, it, so like that's they're right. all in the same <laughs> that down there. Yeah. Remember, I know any given Sunday had an eyeball. That's that somebody we were playing football. Oh, nice. eye has, yeah, it's like uh, it's like a, he has some severe eye damage. His eyeball and, fucking popped out. He's out for two weeks. <laughs> and, <laughs> no eye. <laughs> and you're forgetting about the other one. Which one? Miami Connection. Oh, the greatest sports movie of all time. <laughs> Filmed in Orlando. Filmed in Orlando, Orlando, Florida. Oh, in Winter Park, if you will. Some of that was filmed right Connections in Miami. <laughs> oh, well, if you haven't seen Miami Connection, just get out there and... Um, do yourself a favor. Kill yourself. Yeah, just listen <laughs> to our yourself a favor. And, uh, <laughs> we have a commentary where we... Do self, self Isn't it like if you took of Best of the Best and combined it with... Worst of the Worst? <laughs> Best of the worst. <laughs> the best if of the you worst, took worst. away the charismatic charm of your Eric Robertses, <laughs> and you impl- and you <laughs> replaced it with a man who speaks little to no English, <laughs> yes, you have Miami connection. <laughs> Oh, my dad. <laughs> my dad's dead. Uh, we're talking about a movie nobody's seen. Um, Jeanette, so uh, this is the second time you've been on the show. You're on our anniversary special. Um, Seems like only yesterday. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, we're happy to be here. Uh, real excited. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like she's being oh, deployed. Why? I'm happy no, to be here. sounds like she's being... Uh, I want like... to uh, thank everyone for the opportunity. Do we have Jeff Goldblum on the show now? <laughs> 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 chaos there. That, that, thank you chaos. all for uh, being yeah, thank you, uh, with me. Uh, for, uh, thank you for being on the show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I haven't been up to anything new since the last time I've chatted to you guys. Still maintaining the old. Uh, yeah, that's you right. were in that's China right. for God's oh, sake. That's right. I uh, have been to China and back. What was the like, weirdest thing you ate in China? Um, honestly, I... a human, <laughs> <laughs> a, a real boy. <laughs> They served child there. We um, we were staying with people who were fairly. Uh, we went over to my dance troupe went over to teach and um, perform. So we were hanging out with the other dancers, and the reality is most of them were because we were expecting when you go to China with zero to no uh, knowledge, you're like, oh, mm-hmm. everything I've heard, it's going to be you know human rights violations left and right. Honestly, the <laughs> folks we were with were very upper upper middle class, if not straight up high class. Like the woman we were staying with. Um, who was hosting us and who hired my troop director to come over was like, oh, yes, you know, I like to spend winters riding my horse through the snow and then pulled up a picture of her on a horse in the snow with her hair, like, blowing. I'm like, oh, fucking communist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You stay with Mulan. She, she was, <laughs> she was amazing. So uh, they, all the ladies were incredible. Um, one of them was a doctor. One was a nurse. Like they were all very, very, uh, very educated and very well-off ladies. And so um, they took us to various restaurants right in the area we were in. So honestly, what we ate was not um, stuff I didn't recognize, but uh, prepared differently than what Ooh, I'm used to. Like I ordered chicken different. at one point. It came with glass noodles. I don't know if you're familiar with glass noodles. They're not my favorite. No. Um, and the chicken was essentially a whole chicken diced into inch bits, but yeah, without dude. taking out the bones first. Man. Oh, so then you kind of had to battle dangerous. each single piece 
to get a bite of chicken without bones in it, which, you know, hey, whatever. Mm. Why would they do that? Isn't that this making... Look, they're in a rush, orders? okay? <laughs> it was, I suppose it's more efficient if you're in a, a lot hurry. of people to feed there. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> you get this box. You get, you get the whole chicken. Block with of bones. chicken. chicken. They no, probably just killed that three minutes prior. Yeah, it yeah, was, it was, it was fresh. On the back. Yeah, but the glass noodles, I could do without eating those anymore. Yeah, I don't mind. They're a little slimy. They're a little slimy. And then uh, we had a, a sweet raisin rice cake. They don't That's do a ton of like sweet horrific. desserts, which I've noticed kind of any time I travel internationally. Uh, nobody's desserts are sweet enough for me. I, I, I like mm. a sweet dessert. So, You're American. Yeah. That's American. American. I want that sugar. Oh, yeah. God God damn damn it. It. Deep fry me some sugar, put it on a plate, put a sugar sauce on it. No, Throw a fucking Snickers on it at the same time. <laughs> Where's my Skittles? God damn it. <laughs> what is Skittle? What is Skittles? Oh, get the fuck out of here. Get, out, get the fuck out of here. You, you get the fuck out of your country. I'm moving it. You get out of your country. This is my country now. I'll show you a flag right here. Bam. Boom. Shanghai. We spent a day in Shanghai. It's the world's most populous city. Didn't know that. And um, mm-hmm. their downtown financial district was recently, like in the 1990s, they decided we're going to be a financial center of the universe. And so their downtown is incredible. Also, it's the place on the planet that I've been to that most looks like Coruscant. Because it's all oh, what? entirely oh, vertical Man. living to the point where when you're on an wait, overpass, wait, wait, wait. you don't you want see to the buy bottom. Some death sticks. You want to get some death sticks? <laughs> I don't. You, know you don't want to sell me death oh, you sticks. Don't, oh, yeah, you don't want death sticks. <laughs> you to rethink your you life. Go home and think, rethink your life. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> That's creepy. Actually, Coruscant. No, I don't want to go to Coruscant. I, I want to go Is to there the a guy in a cloak Coruscant. that was like overseeing the whole thing. It's, yeah. It's your. It, it, hey, it's fine if you're on the upper levels. That's yeah, true. Don't be down below that fog. What, 616 or whatever? That, that 619, whatever, that 69? I don't know what the hell the, the, Project the slums 59. of course on the, Project 54. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. I, <laughs> whatever the opposite China, of man, 500 yeah. Republica is. Oh, God. So they were paying in, uh, Republic credits, and you had like, uh, I'm trying to think of all the, the references to the prequels that I read. <laughs> uh, Daz Weasel was flying around in a, a ship. It's where I get nerdy. Uh, and then jo- Django Fat had a rocket booster. <laughs> and See? <laughs> See, that's how good, and you just killed Justin. <laughs> Justin just died. Talking, talking about your Star Trek, you know? <laughs> no, no, no. See, oh, that's boy. not that. <laughs> it's a Here come joke. the letters. Here come the letters. It's a fucking joke. <laughs> it's not Star Trek. It's Star Wars. I already got an email. It's not even out. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Dear Justin Palizzi. <laughs> yeah, remember the online fan community, fan in air quotes, is getting, uh, you know, they're getting guns now. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're coming at people. I've and noticed. They're getting guns now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus. Well, yeah. America. There we go. Well, you they're, know, it's, it's only a matter of time. Oh, God. Well, Could before you, we go any further, it's we only have a small to handful a... of those toxic individuals. It's not the rest mm-hmm. of them. Yes. It's only a few handful. It's like a militia. Uh, <laughs> 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 fucking we communists. We have to mention a few people we are not sponsored by. The, um, the Simplistic Reviews podcast is not brought to you by <clears throat> Walmart. Mm. Ever wonder what it'd be like speaking of the devil uh, if the empire were from Star Wars existed on Earth? <laughs> Walmart. We're evil as fuck. And not by Mach 5 razors. A razor with five sharpened titanium blades. We're basically selling you mini swords to shave at this point. <laughs> if Overkill had a name. And I believe it Mach vibrates too, right? It vibrates <laughs> too. We're trying to chop your face off. Because Mach that's what five. you want. You want a razor that vibrates right next to your neck. Unhappy you with your face? That- Try the mist layer down. <laughs> If you really want to get that fur it's off like your putting face, one of those swords from off. Star Trek next to you. Oh, boy. Have you <laughs> ever seen Hellraiser when they rip the skin off the body? Uh, Mach 5. Uh, <laughs> and finally, Long John Silvers. That's right. Mm-hmm. We're still around. Please, mm. for Christ's sakes, come in and buy something or we'll kill ourselves. Long John Silvers. Hush puppies. I wish we were. I was going to say you, you can get a dozen hush puppies for what, like a dollar ninety nine? Yeah. You know why? You know why, Jeanette? <laughs> Communism. <laughs> because they haven't had a customer since nineteen ninety eight. <laughs> Long John Silver. They haven't had a customer since <laughs> fuck the police came out. <laughs> When Donald Trump was endearing. That's the last time. Long John Silver's. <laughs> wow. Who'd have thought you? You know what's disgusting? Again. I don't know. Wherever we're all in different fucking states. We are. Um, yeah, we are. So I don't know if you guys have this, but I know up uh, up on the East Coast there in Jersey and Philly, <laughs> they have a Long John Silver's with a Taco Bell inside. What? Oh yeah, they're, 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 out they're, out they're all owned by the same uh, restaurant group, the Yum Corporation. Yeah, what? that is one of the worst well, smells you can possibly like, have. Mexican 
and cheap seafood mixed yeah. together. That's like a toilet. It's like, come on, come to me. Come if you can get through the door and not gag, fuck you. you I don't like you. Earned you earned a uh, sampler platter. You fry like, everything in the same fryer. I think we should take those people and put them on an island somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go back. Because if they can eat, eat there... Is it like Manhattan Island, Justin, with uh, Kurt Russell and uh, your like best Island. friend, Mr. Loomis? <laughs> a little bit of Isaac Hayes there. <laughs> little Isaac Hayes. No, I was, thinking, I was thinking like the island. You know the Dr. Moreau? <laughs> nah, well, I mean, you could. You could go with that. I don't know if anyone gets that. Val reference. Kilmer just hiding in the bushes. <laughs> Marlon with the, Brando with the director? eating fat ass to death. <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've, I've put a cheeto with a, a woman. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Taco Bell. Taco and Taco Bell. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> it's nasty. It's you should gross. be ashamed of yourself. Oh, yeah. You should be ashamed I've never of seen that. They must not have it here. Well, here we have the uh, hybrid Taco Bell Pizza Hut. Yeah, you get to Pizza Hut yeah, Taco yeah, Bell. That, yeah. that, that's normal. And KFC that's normal. Taco Bell, you have that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got that too. Yeah. Sometimes you get yeah, the trifecta. Res- sometimes you get the uh, KFC Taco Bell and Pizza Hut sometimes. Sometimes it's oh, the trifecta. Yeah. Sometimes you get, the, yeah. <laughs> you get those in the road stops. Yeah, it's more that's like ironic because you like can, the, you'll uh, need a triple check. bypass after you leave there because it's the most greasiest, nastiest, whatever. But yeah. at the road stops, yeah, you... no, at the the Kentucky Fried oh. Pizza Taco Bell places. Yeah, <laughs> well, the road stops are great because even when you go into the bathroom, they have these holes in the wall, oh, and they feed Justin, you hot dogs. Uh, wait, wait, Justin, no, that's, that's, that's um, not. Uh, they feed you hot dogs. You might have went to the oh, wrong no. place. Uh, okay, Jeanette, uh, we're gonna move on past <laughs> that. And uh, <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> You made it through the first two segments. You think you have what it takes to make it through some questions from the crowd. I do. All right, good. Here we go. Most shows pamper their guests. We, on the other hand, interrogate them. This is questions from the crowd. Ham <clears throat> to the left. Oh, wow. So, even if she had gone that way, she still would have ended up at the castle without the lessons learned or the skilled combatants she needed to defeat Jareth and would have lost. That is why the true hero of the story is that worm, proving once again what we learned in the Odyssey. The point is not necessarily the destination, it's often the journey, what you learn on it, and how that enhances the sweetness of the destination. Okay, I will take questions. Miss uh, Ward, Miss Ward, Ward. Yes, yes, Ward. Yes, yes. We're really confused with Ward. 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 I want to know more about the worm later, but for now, okay. I'm Belagna on the top from the uh, Anaconda Standard. Uh, are you impressed with Captain Marvel and her suit? Uh, yeah, actually, I don't have a problem with it. We're living in a day and age where we are blessed to see a lot of our. Um, childhood air quotes and or uh, comic figures that we've been fans of to date, me mostly from animated series, not necessarily from the comics themselves, on the big screen. This is a hit and miss kind of thing. Either you're going to be pleased with the costume or you're not pleased with the costume. We're at a point where Marvel has earned my trust. Um, Even if I am eh, on the costume, I know the movie's going to be good. They've earned my trust. I'm ready to go with it. Yes, she doesn't have the sash, but there is a chance that sash could be CGI'd in later. Um, oh, I love CGI sash. So oh I, I don't know. I, I'm perfectly happy with the outfit. I'm happy it's this outfit as opposed to the black uh, late 70s, early 80s thigh high um, with the mask <laughs> deal. So I, I'm, I'm happier with this oh, you one. mean that's not PC anymore, Miss Wood? No, it's not. Nobody wants to see your high thighs. Next question. <laughs> oh, high thighs. Miss Ward, Miss Ward, Miss Ward. Hi, Ward. Hi, Ward. Hi, Ward. Hi, Ward. Hi. Hi, uh, uh, hi. Black's Shane, uh, not related to Shane Black, but uh, oh, okay. I, I agree. Uh, he's, he's a pretty great writer. Um, my question is, uh, uh, are, will you see the Predator? Yes, I will see the Predator, and here's an interesting uh, question to you. Oh, <clears throat> now, Even with the Predator? Here. Even with the Predator in it? Listen. In it? Listen. The, the, the real Predator? Like, yes. <laughs> They, that oh, an actual that predator, predator has been edited out. You've all read the same articles I've read, and you've read Shane Black's mm. statement where he's like, all, I, I didn't realize how bad it was. He's been edited out. That aside, boy, uh, I'm kind of excited about this movie. I have a thing for the Predator. Listen, we all have certain things. Sexual? Elements. Yes, let me explain. <laughs> Everybody's got a fetish. I have some odd fantasy elements to my fetishes. One is King Shark. Oh, wow. The second is a predator. 
Star Small is also in there. I don't have to explain any of that to you. You get me. You understand. You're all on the same page. Here's what I'm trying to say about the Predator. I, the original <laughs> Predator as well as Predator 2 and parts of AVP are excellent. Let me uh -huh. tell you why. By the third okay. act, we stepped mm -hmm. into a realm of almost no dialogue. The movies are exceptionally mm -hmm. visual. Everything mm -hmm. you need to know about the Predator is conveyed without dialogue. The intelligence, uh -huh. the technology, the interaction with the last remaining human survivor. I uh -huh. have very, very high expectations, and maybe I shouldn't. Shane Black was just in the first Predator. He wasn't involved in the production. I'm hopeful, but I'm concerned. We'll see how it goes. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, Black Shane, not related to yes. Shane Black. You know what? I do <laughs> want to point out that putting on the glasses doesn't cause a disguise for you because in the first Predator, you were wearing glasses. Next. Oh. Uh, yes, 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 you were uh, here with the nose. Hello, hello. Is it possible to make a good Star Trek movie without Chris Pine's cat? Hell yes, just go back and watch any of the original ones. Next question. <laughs> well, this one. Uh, I, I know, I know. This one. Follow up question. This one. This one is Biff Smith from the Dogtown Dossier. So, uh... Alex Baldwin's already out of the Joker movie, Walking Phoenix. What do you make of that here? Is he the only one with the brains to get out? What have we come to when Alex Baldwin is the smart one? Guys, no. I cannot state how strongly I feel we do not need a Joker standalone movie. All I want is for DC to make a smart decision. Okay, next question. Oh. Oh. Yes, yes, you over there with the polka dot tie. Yes. No, 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 I said with the polka dot tie. Those are stripes. Yes, get it right. Small bars, not related to both, small. What do you think about the uh, the, the Star Wars uh, solo movie? Oh, Come out on Blu-ray. Yes, yes, excellent question. Did I buy it? Not yet. Will I? Probably. Was it? <laughs> What's your favorite part? Uh, <laughs> my favorite part is at the end when Darth Maul shows up looking like Ray Park, but sounds oh, like Oh, yeah, that's Sam my favorite part, too. <laughs> all I want is a Maul that sounds like Sam Woodward, but looks like Ray Park. <laughs> Honestly, oh, man, it, there are so many directions we could go. I'm, I'm not going to go into the next movie that I want to see, that I want to see. What I want to see is the uh, Cannonball version of the Bounty Hunters movie where Java hands all the Bounty Hunters a you know, MacGuffin style chase at the beginning. And then we introduced Boba Fett played by Daniel Logan. And then by the end, the empire uh -huh. steps in and we might get to see some Thrawn and slash them all. And for God's sakes, Prince Zizor. But listen, I, this is not what I'm here to talk about today. Okay. Next question. Uh, Ward, yes. Ward, yes. Ward, 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 Ward. Over here on the left. Uh, no, to the left. Uh, to the left. Uh, all the stuff you own in a box. I'm on to the, the right. left. What are you dealing with? Uh, what? 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 Uh, Bins, Binson Custard Scratch, uh, Porcupine Gazette. Is there even a point anymore of making an X-Men Dark Phoenix or New Mutants movie? Oh, God. I, I, uh, I'd love to see a really good Dark Phoenix movie. I really would. But honestly, what's the truth to that? I could go back and watch the, what was it, weeks-long episodes from the 90s animated series and it would probably be better than anything they're going to put together i don't mind sophie turner is gene gray am i convinced she can play phoenix no i'm not convinced yet uh sophie Stroyce. whatever her name is listen it's the other white the other white. Totally white. It, it could be good it could not be good i'm so freaking over brian singer and his cronies at this time Ooh, we, I, we can't say that name oh, publicly yeah. i'm a little boy next yeah. question Miss Ward. Over here on the right now. Uh, oh, okay. Thank, thank you. Uh, this is uh, Wise Lenman from the uh, Tundra Drum. I'm sorry. Um, did you say Len Wiseman? No, I said Wise Lenman. Oh. Get it right, woman. Come on. Let I, me I, I, my, I got excited. I thought maybe Len Wiseman oh, was here. I have questions for him. All right, moving oh, on. Well, <laughs> on the subject, we are. on the subject, Len Wiseman is going to direct at least one episode of the, Star of the uh, Swamp Thing show. Are you okay with that? Yes. Obviously, and not. No. <laughs> Swamp Thing is not a character. What do you I'm have against Mr. Wiseman? <laughs> I loved the show Sleepy Hollow. I feel like he's done a good job with TV in the past. Swamp Thing is not anything I feel any particular ownership towards. So, what's your opinion on Lucifer? I, it's fine. I watch it. 
I'm happy it got picked up by Netflix. I'm not overly oh, it's, tied. It's, to it's, it. it's a devilish good time. Oh, oh God. Go, go, God. Right. <laughs> Next question. I don't Hello. have time for this. Oh, thank you, Hello. 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 Yes, over Hello. here in the back. Hello. Yes, yes, thank you very much. I appreciate you picking on me. No one ever picks on me. Oh, me. my God. Can much. we please? Now is not the time for your therapy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was on your website, jwardadventures.blogspot.com, and I had a question regarding your review of the spy who dumped me. In your review, you said uh, you really laughed. And, and, and be honest, did you really laugh? Uh, yes, but not often. I'll tell you when I laughed was any time uh, Kate McKinnon was left to do whatever she wanted on her own. Uh, and at uh, Gillian uh, Anderson and her British accent. Next question. Uh, 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 Ms. Ward, Ms. Yes. Ward, Ms. Ward, Ms. Ward, Ms. Ward, Ms. Ward. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Please, Ward, someone get that puppet out of here. Not answering questions. Puppets today. Uh, Ooh, back there. Yes. Ms. Ward, Ms. Ward. Making weird faces at the camera. <laughs> A uh, uh, Hollandaise Pankasaur, the Spooner <laughs> Advocate, uh, is a new Police Academy movie. A good idea. No. Next question. <laughs> yes. Yes, go ahead. Miss <laughs> Ward. Yes, yes. Over here. Oh, hi. Oh, oh, oh hello. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, my yeah, accent is going you. in Let's and out. Go. Okay. Oh, Miss Ward. Okay, this is a, a bandit Gleason from the. Oh, my God. He's having a stroke. Hey, man, look out. <laughs> look, hey, leave me alone, man. It's a bandit. Goddamn bandit around here, okay? All right. Uh, so, so obviously, um, you know, Kurt, Kurt Reynolds, he passed away. Yes, uh, he did. How, how are you, how, how you going to remember Mr. Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I honestly, wow. guys, listen, I didn't grow Reynolds, up Reynolds in, the, in the 70s. I was born in the 70s. Or I grew up in the 80s. Burt Reynolds movies are not something I was raised on. I've seen Cannonball Run. I enjoyed it. I don't know that I'm going to remember him constantly. Like, he was great. <laughs> I enjoyed him and stuff that I saw him in. Not a huge part of my uh, fundamental core. Next. Oh, my. Yeah, Hello. Sorry. Hello. Uh, yes. Yes. Hello. Okay, Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 How you doing? Yes. How you doing? My name is Bello. Oh, How you doing? I, I, I went to review time. <laughs> I, I had a question for so you. Funny. Personal question. Yes. Oh, this is really offensive. This is really That's bad. That's terrible. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Hello, 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 White Devil. Have you ever gone through the curtain in the back of the video rental store? What? Uh, yes, one time in college, some friends and I, uh, when there used to be local video stores with curtained areas uh -huh. in the back room, uh, oh. went to the back, rented a movie called Maverick, rented it because oh. it featured in a big gold star on the I front an all black cast. Next question. Was it on VHS? <laughs> VHS, you have VHS player? No, not anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next question. Mikey Blink in 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. All the time. 12 o'clock. <laughs> <Miss Ward. laughs> yes! You over here! Miss Ward. Miss Ward. Uh, bit of doodle, cumber snoodle. Uh, the weekly boomerang. Uh, are you excited? Who are these damn uh, Brits in here? I, I am shocked by the variance of Benedict Cumberbatch that have showed up to this present. <laughs> there, there, there's a million. Uh, 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 are you excited about a new Sherlock Holmes film with RDJ? And before you answer, keep in mind I'm British. <laughs> Um, God, I guess so. The the first couple ones were good. Um, I, boy, Matthew Vaughn? Yeah, no. no. Uh, or were they actually... Guy Ritchie, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. Listen, Matthew Vaughn's a discount, Guy Ritchie. Um, oh, my goodness. I can't believe you said that one. Yeah, you heard me, British person, and you, British person, and other British person. Who keeps letting these British people in here? Hollywood keeps letting I... us in. Yeah, honestly. Hollywood keeps letting us in. The real question is, why does Guy Ritchie have to keep telling everybody he's a guy? I like Guy Ritchie movies. I like his old stuff. I like uh, Lockstock is one of the best movies ever. Um, Snatch is great fun. Movie's good too. That one with Madonna's a misfire. I I, I don't mind, uh, you know, him keeping working with uh, Sherlock, this version of Sherlock, and and uh, the law version of Watson. It's fine. They've done well on the other two, so I'm intrigued. Not super excited. Intrigued. Next question. Oh, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like my fedora. That's, That's right. Good. It's sharp. I like Bye. the feather on the side. Oh, it's, it's my mom got it for me. Thanks. I'm not surprised. Okay. Well, uh, my, my name is uh, uh, Spits and Swallows. I'm from oh the uh, Tombstone Epitaph. Oh, okay. I know. I know. It's my. I'm, I'm from the the Swallows family. I can't help my family. Is that the New England Swallows? 
No, it's actually the uh, uh, Tuscaloosa swallows. Tuscaloosa. You know, All right. Different, different Yo, and, okay, and your question. Oh, okay, uh, so there's a new, there's like a new streaming site. It's called like VRV.co, and they have all these Nickelodeon shows on it. Would you be willing to spend more money to watch Nickelodeon shows from the 90s? No. Why not? I, because the only one I'd watch is all that, and I'm pretty sure I could catch that on the, the YouTubes. I know. What, what, what about The Secret Life of Shelby Woo? Nope. What about this? What about Alex Mack? Nope. What about you can't do that on television? Nope. What about Aubrey and Monsters? Nope. What about Doug? No. Are you gonna get to Keenan and Kill? I'm only gonna say what? yes to one. I, I guess I guess want the I like all the Nicktoon stuff. You don't like well, the Nicktoon listen. Stuff? Let me tell you the truth here. Hear me now. Believe me later. You can pay for that service. I'm not gonna pay for it. Next question. I'm gonna tell you. Yes, yes, yes. You in the middle. So, yes. so mean to me just now. You. Your fedora. Okay, my oofers here. Bye, bye. <laughs> okay, next question. Hello. Yes. Yes. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh my god. Good. And my name's Doctor Skeletor. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm the sorry. Times of the universe. When did you get a doctorate, and what is it in? Ah, uh, you don't know me. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but I have a question. Okay. He-Man. Yes. Like him or hate him and why? Uh, I tell you what, I, I'm fond of him. Uh, I enjoy the cartoon. Uh, I enjoy uh, the Dolph Lundgren movie. Uh, it, it, if you ever meet Courtney Cox, be sure to remind her she was in that. Uh, and uh, Frank Langella, boy, we all uh, enjoy Frank Lang Lang Langella. So uh, there you go. Him especially. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, I, I think we are clearly on the same page. If only to prevent you from, maybe you want to put down the staff. Okay, next question. Miss uh, Miss Ward. No. Yes. Ms. Okay. Ward. Ms. Ward. Uh, yes. Over here. Oh, you, oh, with oh. The, you with the trumpet. Why do you have a trumpet? It's 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 uh, what I carry with okay. me. Uh, Bulbasaur to the Snoop. Uh, the Daily Avalanche. Uh, God damn. What are your money's foreigners asking questions? <laughs> Hey, what are your right. thoughts on a, uh, a Die Hard prequel entitled McClane? And before you answer, keep in mind, I'm actually DJ Valentine in disguise. <laughs> well, I think that the answer oh, man, is no. A a and by no, I mean... <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Hello. Next question. Hello. Follow up to that. Yes. Uh, if you can pick one, Die Hard or Lethal Weapon. Oh, God. Mm. Good question. What's the third option? Thank you. Thank you. Best <laughs> Suicide. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. The third option has to be another terrible prequel. Oh, uh, a Predator? <laughs> yes, there you go. I'm taking that one. Next question. <laughs> it's yes, yes, yes. you in the very back. In the very back. Jumping up and down and waving your hands. Uh, hey, I, okay. Hey, uh, this is uh, Jack Blackcock from the uh, Fat Man Gazette. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. uh, it's an unfortunate a, name. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. It's for my parents. Okay. You can blame them. For giving birth to me, I'm very sad. Now. Oh boy, I apologize. <laughs> I was out of line. Look what you did. Parents died in a car crash, man. No. And the reports are saying Blackhawk in the. <laughs> Can we imagine? They died going into a tunnel. <laughs> and then out again, and back in again, and out again. Oh no! I immediately so regret commenting on the name. The memories are flooding back. <laughs> You know what? Why don't, why don't you go ahead and take some time? I'm going to answer a question from the person immediately to your right. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Um, what do you think, really, of Melissa McCartney? <laughs> I, I find her <laughs> extremely hilarious, very talented, and often uh, underserved by the material she has. I don't think she can serve. <laughs> <laughs> Are you speaking of tennis? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, I don't think she can play tennis. No. Well, she might. I, I've never seen no. her. No. Oh, all right. Next question. <laughs> this war, yes. this war, yes. this war, this war. Uh, Wellington Scooby Snack, the Daily Red Stuff. Um, why uh, is this entire film? half of the... Uh, anyway, go on. <laughs> what film... It's Wimbledon. Uh, what <laughs> film will bomb harder, a little battle angel or mortal engines? <laughs> oh, God. I. Give me the titles again. <laughs> A little, <laughs> a little battle angel or mortal angels. I don't think I've seen anything about mortal angels yet. 
Uh, engines, engines, yeah, oh, love. Oh, I see. Engines. I'm trying to combine the both of them. Engines like Indians, engines. Wow. <laughs> no, Ooh, sir, you're right. out. Get, there's the door. That's bloody hey, race. Hey, 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 get your damn my hands off me. <laughs> As I was yeah. saying. That MAGA hat gave it away. I'm, <laughs> I'm in for the Battle Angel movie on account of the crazy ass eyes on that robot chick. Next question. <laughs> Um, yes. Excuse me, excuse me. Over here uh, under the light. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, my name is Miss Horn. Uh, oh, okay. From, yeah, from the weekly, daily, uh, once a year uh, gazette. Um, <laughs> it is a very complicated paper, go on. It is, I never know I never know when our paper is coming out, to be honest with you. So, uh, would you rather have a shoe thrown at you by Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? Boy, um, I'd rather not be in a room with either of those women. Um, okay, but you had to pick. But if I had to pick, Nikki tends to wear a lot of the big-time platform um, yes. shoes, whereas Cardi was just recently pregnant, so I know she's wearing a lot of flats. So I'm going to go with yes. Cardi. Next question. Yeah, that's true. Miss Ward, Miss Ward. Yes. 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 yes, up front with the vest. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, I love the vest. Very sharp. Mm. Sure, appreciate it. My name's uh, Rachel Sally from the time. Okay. <laughs> what? Obviously. <laughs> a very Excuse unfortunate me. name. Sorry, sorry. No, no, that's, that's why you laugh. What? That's fine. It's a powerful name. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I think it's a pretty name, but thanks. <laughs> My question to you. Let's all. Okay. Let's all be serious. Here, okay. Yep. No, sorry, sorry. Continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> this crowd. These people in this crowd. <laughs> hey! Put it back in. <laughs> No, no. Get, get out of here, Maga. Someone put a padlock on that door. <laughs> oh, oh, they're hurting. Oh, they hit me with a shoe out here. Uh, go ahead, Rachel Sally. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I was going to ask you about Halloween, but I uh, hear you're not into slashers. That's right? correct. Okay. So let me ask you about Jeremy Renner. Uh, Close enough. You trust that guy? I do. I do trust him. Uh, and I. He doesn't have a look of a trusty person. I, I, I trust him because he does deep knee bends before he starts shooting anything. Also because he plays the piano and enjoys fixing houses. Ooh. That's a very trustworthy yeah. behavior. Next question. Yes. Okay. Over here. Over here. Uh, uh, bold the dash chowder pants. The Tulsa dispatch. Tulsa. Uh, chowder pants. Tulsa, of course. Tulsa. That's where I'm from. I was born in Tulsa. Mm -hmm. uh, it is rumored that one or more of the heroes in the MCU is a scroll in disguise. Who do you have your money on it being? Don Cheadle. Why would it be the black man? Uh, it would just be Don Cheadle because of uh, oh. when he was uh, Ice Trey in that one episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I trusted oh, him yes, since Ice then. Tray. Yes, yes, Ice Trey. That's right, Ice Trey. You guys thought maybe you weren't going to get an ice tray reference today, but I gave you one. <laughs> we got an ice tray reference. I'll tell you who else I don't trust me, in man. the MCU. Who? Who, who else? Who else? Um, going to have to be, what's your name? Uh... Jeremy Renner. <laughs> James Gunn? <laughs> No, <laughs> it's none of those Dave people. Dave Batista. Just guys, you're, you're naming all the most trustworthy people. Okay, okay, all right. right. Whatever flows you back. Yeah, Skrulls, here's the problem with Skrulls. It often feels like a throwaway villain because you can suddenly pull that thing of throwing <laughs> darts at a bar. Uh, darts on a dartboard with the boom you're a Cylon you're a Cylon you're a, suddenly the XO is a Cylon in the last season come on now that's nonsense that's what it feels like with the scrolls sometimes when you're watching a story that involves a girl oh this person's been a scroll the whole time come on now I, I'm not sure how I feel about the scrolls we'll see a casting what's his name a generic Australian bad guy of the moment who happens to be oi <laughs> Ben, 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 we'll see, we'll see, about, uh, ben Mendelsohn? Uh, Mendelsohn. Ben Mendelsohn. Ben Mendelsohn. Yeah. Mendelsohn. Do, do, we, do we have an Australian who'd like to ask a question? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's hear it. Go right. ahead, How you doing? This is the Australian contingent on this side, my love. My question for you is on a scale of a one to, uh, to how uh, excited are you of the Venom movie? <laughs> on a scale of one to two? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> we heard you. We heard oh, you God, I love Australians. Um, <laughs> you want to come down and get a bear with me? <laughs> on a scale of one to two. Australian. I'm going to say one. Oi! <laughs> yes, excellent. Thank you, sir. Aussie, Aussie. I'm going down under. Please keep an eye on that grill with those shrimps on it. Next question. Is that why you like the Australian man? They go down under. <laughs> no, actually, it's because of the shrimp on the grill. I thought that was obvious. Long John Silver. <laughs> Call back. 
Throw Call back sponsor. <laughs> You ball be. Any other questions? Any other questions? I'll uh, be here until I run out of questions. This oh, one, this one, 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 this one, 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 one final question. You don't want to say that. One, one final question. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, b- Bartholomew Coffee Pot, oh, the hillside. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, get this goddamn Brit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look oh, at yeah. who would you? Who, who Co- would you? Pot. Who? Who would you? Yes, Coffee Pot. Uh, from the, the, the London Coffee Pot. Coffee Pot. Uh, that's a different uh, who would you cast? Who would you cast? Who would you cast as the next Bond? Wait, who would I cast? Who would you cast? Boy, I tell you, I'm I'm certainly partial to David Harewood at this point. I feel like he has earned it. I feel like he is classy. I feel like he's elegant. Also plays keeper during celebrity uh, soccer games, which means a lot to me. Uh, he's mm. slick. He's elegant. He's uh, action capable. Mm. I, I want it to be Idris. I've always wanted it to be Idris mm. since I became aware of Idris. The problem with mm. Idris is he has a. Um, he's black. He's black. Is the problem is he black? Is the no, problem no, no. is that he's black? That he has a flourishing black DJ career. Oh, and, and he's very he's busy, ahem, air quotes, making music. So mm, he's sure, uh, sure. otherwise occupied at this point. Day, I, I'm going to tell you. Rids. Here's what I would do with the next Bond. If you, I get to cast Idris, I'm casting Idris. If I don't, I'm casting David Harewood. If not, I'd go a little bit younger, somebody we're not ready for yet. I can't give you a name right now. The guy, uh, Rally Ritchie, whose real name is something else, but it's not Grey Worm. I forget his real name. Rally Ritchie. Here's what I'm saying. Next movie. You keep Waltz as Blofeld, but you keep him in jail. You bring back Monica Bellucci. There was no greater crime in the last Bond movie than the complete underuse of Monica Bellucci, who is easily one of the most interesting actresses working today. You make her the main villain without Bond knowing. Bond spends the first half of the movie thinking he's helping her find out who's trying to kill her, only to find out halfway through she's been the orchestrator of all this. Blofeld was her pawn. And now she's attempting to take over the world in some old school Bond like 70s designed plan to, I don't know, blot out the sun or melt the glaciers or, you know, classic Bond villain stuff. We haven't seen a high level female villain in a Bond movie. That's what I want. I'd love it to be Idris Elba. I'll go with David Harewood or Rally Ritchie. I forget his villain. Next question. Yep. I'm sorry. You're really far away. Can you get closer? Yes, how you doing? <laughs> Whoa, that's too cool. <laughs> Sally, Jesse, Raphael. I was. I have a question for you. I like your glasses. Um, thank you. Right. Very <laughs> nice. Nice to meet I am from the uh, New York Times. Uh, my real question for you is: uh, Why do movies suck these days? Oh, I disagree. I don't think they do. I enjoy movies. Uh, I disagree. I think they do. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm afraid we're going to have to agree to disagree. Oh, <laughs> look out, world! Here she comes. You didn't see Crazy Rich Asians? Come on, that movie was fantastic. Well, Crazy Rich, too many Asians for my. Oh my God! There's the door. Undo the padlock. Open the door. Keep that one guy out. Take her. Put her out there to relock. This press the conference is over. <laughs> Come with me, Miss Ward. We have to get you out of here immediately. All right, I'm out of here. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. Deuces. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not going to ask my question. This has been questions from the crowd. A little less slimmier than TMZ. My parents. <laughs> my parents are black They're off. still dead in that tunnel. <laughs> They went in the tunnel. They went out the tunnel. They went I back never, in the tunnel. My dad never came out of the tunnel. Oh, oh he came out. Right. Superstar the tennis tunnel. player crying again. Oh boy. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a thief. <laughs> wow. Well, let's uh take a <laughs> let's do a little TV roundup. <clears throat> Yeehaw! <clears throat> Whoa, what the f- get get out of here, MAGA. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go uh, ladies first here. Uh, so Justin, yes. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, uh, no, Jeanette. What have you been watching on the television show today? Post uh, this week. Classic. Post-op. This oh. week, I finished up Jack Ryan. Ooh, so did I. Um, I jacked up. <laughs> it is Krasinski. <laughs> jacked up, up, like. But are you I, really like John the action hero? Jim from The Office. What do you think about? What do you think about Jack Ryan? How do you feel about that? Show? I I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, you know, it didn't. Uh, knock my socks off, although I'm not mm. wearing socks right now. But put your socks um, 
Interesting. I liked it. I thought it was good. I thought it was uh, entertaining. I like Krasinski in that role. I enjoy mm. the amount of times he goes, I'm an analyst. I don't belong in that field. I'm an analyst. Oh, I'm an analyst. He said um, like 20 times. I feel like he could easily <laughs> grow into the Harrison Ford version, which ironically was my favorite version. But uh, Harrison Ford, you don't really buy the analyst portion of right. Jack Ryan. So I think Krasinski has the potential to really bring the um, nerd into the action, which I like. And I, I thought it was very interesting. I enjoyed the format. I'm happy it was only eight episodes. I think it was um, fast moving, action packed, but with an equal amount of like, let's do the research. Let's stare at some computer screens for a while, but not too much. Um, <laughs> Typing fast. <laughs> I would like to see for season two, because I'm telling you what, the, oh, uh, <clears throat> spoilers for Ramius, those who haven't seen. Ramius, you want to see some Ramius action? No, 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 no. I, uh, the kid, Samir, that kid Oh, is not to be trusted and knows oh, what happened to his father and who did it. And so I would like to see that kid um, in maybe, I don't know, you could maybe do another season with something else and then third season bring that kid back as the main villain. I think that kid. You're trying to do a, you're trying to do a Boba Fett with Jack Ryan. That's what you're trying to do. Mm, I don't know if I'm that clever. Did anyone, uh, did anyone say, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, it's Jack Ryan. <laughs> no one said Jesus that. Christ, it's Jack Ryan. <laughs> and also no one said my favorite line from any of the others. Were, hey, come on, Jack, you see everything in black and white. And then Jack with the angry Harrison Ford finger point. Not black and white, right and wrong. Right and wrong. Right and wrong. I'm working around the clock. <laughs> I am working around the clock. Get off my plane. Get off my plane. <laughs> so, How dare you, I want to be a oh, woman. You, you was, find this man. Was, you find this man. This man. <laughs> Let's go do all of Harrison Fordism. Oh, he killed my He had a prosthetic car. It was, one arm, man. it was the one arm man. Dad, don't call me Junior. So, um, yeah, there wasn't <laughs> any angry <laughs> finger pointing, which I missed. Uh, I'd also like to take a step back and just remind everybody Cloak and Dagger was easily the best thing on TV this summer. If you didn't I watch, watch it, Cloak I and Dagger. I, yeah, I stopped in the middle of uh, Runaways, and I was like, eh, uh, "It's better than like Runaways." It. I finished out oh, Runaways. Geez. I didn't mind Runaways, but uh, Cloak and Dagger is way better. Um, I if I have to, to rank find. the non-Netflix Avenger Marvel TV series, is, I still love Agents mm. of Shield. It's it's had some like missteps here and there, but I love Agents of Shield. And Humans was fine. Um, <sighs> <laughs> I, it, runaways, I put the Runaways kind of at the bottom. I mean, it was good. I enjoyed it, but it it was a little ran away. A little loose. Um, and The Gifted, I liked. I thought The Gifted was interesting, yeah, but was right. Cloak and Dagger is the best one of the bunch. If you haven't seen it, I think it's still on Hulu. Watch Cloak and Dagger. It is exceptional. Hulu. Beautifully oh, yeah. done. The two too. leads are fantastic. It's a full half season, so I think it's like 12 episodes? I think so. And they're picked oh, okay. up for season two, shot in New Orleans, so it looks beautiful, very artistically done, uh, really interesting. I like it. And again, two characters I'm not super familiar with. You know, I've seen them on yeah. the guest start on somebody else's animated show, but I, I not, not a couple of characters I'm really, really familiar with. So I, it was interesting to see them develop um, how the pairing works, and I'm intrigued to see where they go next. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. hmm. Things to make you go. Justin, oh. top that. Top cloak and dagger, Justin. Oh. Hard top to it. Find. Hard to find. Uh, <laughs> I'll top it with Black Mirror. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. You're just catching up from it uh, with it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm catching up yeah. and. Uh, Did you finish it or you still like enjoyed it? it. Uh, I got like two episodes left yeah. of the series, the entire series. So um, I'm up. I'm up in my black and. Black Mirror. Black knowledge. Mirror. I'm up in my black. I'm up all, black all, mirror. all up in my black mirror. I also was watching um, The Staircase on Netflix, oh. which I finished. That. I was that very good. The true crime. Fantastic. Uh, you missed a, fantastic. a great opportunity there to say, you know, it goes up and down. It goes up and down. <laughs> it's up and down. <laughs> well, well, it's mostly it. down. <laughs> big mostly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the people under the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, last time I had talked about Toast of London, of course. Oh, we've... the greatest show nobody's seen. Yes, but that's already gone, and I've watched every episode, so I, I filled it with uh, Kath and Kim, an Australian show. Wow, an Australian I think show. Kim, crikey! Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi! <laughs> it's not as great as Toast of London. What but, is? Um, what is? Nothing. Nothing. Is. Is nothing in this world is better. What's his name? Coogan and the other guy. No, 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 no. Toast of London is Matthew. Is it Matthew Barry? Matt, Matthew, Matt Barry? Matt Barry. Yeah. Yeah, Where yeah, could it, I find Toast of London? Netflix. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Do yourself a favor, world. 
world. Just sit down and sit watch down, it. Sit down, pull up a fucking... Your life will be better. You're, Honestly. You will laugh. You're, you'll probably win the lottery. Can you assure you, I mean, me you, of this? You, you'll, you'll grow you don't have to hear about Trump anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Trump will disappear. Until we bring it up. <laughs> no, you'll be watching Toast of London. I'm going to call you so on the great. phone and say, hey, are you it is, going it to is Toast of London? It is probably the funniest show i've seen in the last 10 years it's hilarious right. i guarantee you you will not pick up your phone <laughs> you will you will shut Put that shit on your phone down quick <laughs> you'll Put that glued phone down the telly <laughs> oh. the entire time how many episodes it's just satire. You, 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 Jeanette, you would you you dig it the most <laughs> you dig it the most <laughs> yeah if you're into that comedy i don't know if you're into that comedy. <laughs> are you into the haha funnies are you into the funnies? Yeah. Are you into the outrageous? <laughs> I, well, let me answer that out with of this world. Uh, saying, "Have any of you seen Wrecked on TBS?" Wrecked. Wrecked. No. Is that the? It's Wait the minute. what if Lost happened, but they were all idiots. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. I saw the I, commercial. I, I, I've, I've seen I saw the commercial. The commercial. It, it is on TBS. <laughs> it is worth worth watching. I think apparently you can, TBS uh, and TNT are putting on some quality TBS product. app. It is. Which one funny. is the Superstation? That's TBS. That's TBS. That's the I don't think they've uh, used that moniker in yeah, they, they a have. number of years. 20 years. Bring it back. <laughs> We're bringing what are you it talking to about? Station. I just went to bed last night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Rip, wait, you've been in the thing for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What year is it? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? beard on you. You've got See a long whiskey beard. what happens when you watch beard. Black Mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens, man. Shit like happens. Shit happens. With, uh, what's her name? Empty um, Tribeca. Uh, that that oh, show, that show is hilarious. brilliant as well. Yeah, yeah Angie yeah, Tribeca yeah. and Wrecked, both fantastic. A lot of underrated shows one? on TBS. Absolutely. Yeah. Sneaky mm-hmm. shows. They're sneaky shows. S- they sneak up on you. Just like USA. We yeah, have USA. characters USA. here. Character is welcome. We've got characters. Character, welcome. Man, there's a bunch of characters. I don't know why we're not welcome. You guys are a bunch of characters. Uh, USA <laughs> hasn't hey. done anything for me since Psych went off the air. Robot. For me, it was Wings. Mr. 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 Dr. Robot. Mr. Frickin' yeah, Robot, I man. I gave that show an episode and was like, this is not the show. Oh! Oh! oh no! 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 As, no! Did you all just get attacked by zombies? Oh, man? my no! God! I just had no! my hand cut off by my... <laughs> You've got to give that show three episodes, man. Three? Uh, it's a big commitment. you got to give three the cool. hours it's of your commitment. life. I know. I'm a little it's freaked like, out by like, the size of Rami Malek's eyes. Well, that's They're... gonna not help. That's not gonna change. He should have been, been the battle I'm sorry. angel. Yes, he is I the battle can't angel. Fix the Real life battle angel. He's. Re- I mean, especially the first season. The first season's really, second season's not that great. First but, season uh, is the third good. season's third season's really good. Mm. But I mean, we've been talking about Mr. Robot for years here. But we're just skip on past that. Um, Mr. Roboto. Matthew Stewart. Yeah. Okay. What have, been what have I been peeping on? I don't. I don't watch a lot of TV. But when I do. I don't. I don't finish it. It's I don't no finish it. <laughs> I watched about three episodes, and I'm like, I'm like Jeanette Ward. I'm like, okay, cool. Three episodes. All right. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Deuces. <laughs> Peace. Here's here's here, here's some weird ones. Well, I'll go with one that's been a little bit bigger. That Castle Rock show. Mm. Not Fraggle yeah. Rock. Castle. Uh, Rock. I wish it was Fraggle Rock. God, We're not down in Castle Rock. Well, we are down. Fraggle Rock. Mm-mm. It's at uh, the Stephen uh, King of kind of like everything Stephen King rolled into one show. I was going to say, isn't it's, it an amalgamation of everything yeah, else that he's done? It's pretty much an amalgamation. It's like you got like psychics and you got Shawshank Prison and you got the guy Cinematic who plays universe. it. And he's not playing it in this now. He's a num- he's a guy with weird big eyes like Battle Angel. <laughs> or Rami Malek. It's got, and it's got the black guy who was in Moonlight and the Nick and everything else. Uh, mm. That dude. You know, yeah, that dad. I, I can't name his name right now. But is that yeah, the same dude who had the no eyes on Lucifer? Uh, prob- probably. Okay. I don't know. Uh, what do I look like? Len Wiseman? <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. Who do I look like? I'm not, I'm not Len um, Wiseman. <laughs> you know, Len Bloody Wiseman, <laughs> huh? <laughs> He's American. Boy. We don't know what we're Boy. doing in British. <laughs> yeah, if you like Stephen King shit, you know, I think you'll probably like Castle Rock. It's 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 good. It's on uh what Hulu. So if you have your Hulu, was, was Stephen King also that eleven twenty three? Yeah, he's eleven twenty two sixty three. Did that, and yeah. uh, he um what else? He did that other that nineteen twenty two uh, movie that was on. Uh, so Netflix. many numbers. Yeah, a lot of numbers. You know what room two three seven? Are there um, numbers in Castle Rock? Um, like it, and, and like in the, uh, the 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 hatch, like in Lost. <laughs> <laughs> I have to push. I'm sure there's some new. There hasn't there hasn't really been a lot of numerology in right. this uh, mm. thing so far, but it's it's worth it. It's like ten episodes, and I think they're on episode 
it's it's oh it's week by week too so you can't binge it all they're like fuck you motherfucker remember old school tv <laughs> suck my dick so Damn. i do i do appreciate wow, that's that like crazy i think i know that's what hulu says it's like fuck you you watch that art <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> I don't mind that. I, I don't mind anymore? a streaming service that is like, hey, we're going to give you one a week. I don't, I don't mind. And yeah, Netflix they, did that with the Joel McHale show earlier this year. And I think, yeah, yeah I don't mind that. But how did that work out, Jeanette? I love how the Joel did that work? Well, it is Joel McHale. Then, well, it's gone now. So <laughs> you better enjoy what you got left. <laughs> Joel McHale, Chris Hardwick, yeah, same person? No, Maybe? not Maybe at all. No, no, together? No. Joel McHale, Joel McHale is actually a nice guy. Joel McHale is funny. He's a nice guy. Was it on Singled Out, though? He can throw Chris Hardwood like a football because he's like 17 feet tall. Played for the Washington uh, Huskies football tight end. Yeah, he's – Joe McHale's a better Fine, person. Joe McHale's fine. Okay. You don't get it. Chris Hardwick's kind of like a Weasley guy. Yeah, he's a like, Weasley. Hey, he's hey, a Weasley. Hey, oh, I like, I like hey. zombies. I'm going to tell you my biggest issue with Chris Hardwick. Uh, and yeah, this has been hair. going on for years. That a, Not the hair. That is a fuck. Uh-oh. Here we go. The fact that he was constantly touting him like, oh, I'm here about nerds. I'm going to embrace all I am a nerds. nerd. Everybody's going to yeah, be – we're here bullshit. to love – we're, we're going to embrace you, everybody who's been made fun of, and then would constantly like – Oh, well, we're not a you know everybody who's been bullied. We've all been bullied, and then would turn around and anyone who said anything about liking sports, he would immediately bully. Yeah, <laughs> well, because the nerds took over. That's uh... why the nerds were the new jocks, and the jocks were the new nerds. He was a hypocrite, so he and he can't make any more appearances. Like he can't do San Diego Comic Con anymore. They'll destroy him. Now. I they honestly, would, I don't would... understand. I, I mean, AMC gave him the job back because they were like, "We've done our own independent investigation." Have you, AMC? But they're gonna the, the, that audience is gonna be like paid. Yeah. It's gonna be edited. Oh, but he cannot show I, up at a public event. Honestly, I've been a little surprised food. that they, he's still been getting guests. I oh, and Fear yeah. the Walking Dead. You'll notice I didn't mention I have been watching didn't mention i've been watching it, it because it hasn't been that it. good it the one episode this season where they introduced uh daryl chilled mitchell and mo collins i was like this is the best episode of this show that i've seen oh motherfucking mo collins yes mo collins motherfucking <laughs> mo <laughs> your life into yeah. the show I was they like, should pay you to watch that they should yeah they should they should pay you because i don't know how you i gave up after the governor of all zombie shit I, I just, nope <laughs> done no more zombies. You mean when I'm he was finished. keeping heads in aquariums? Yeah, that was I cool. think after he got rid of uh, Herschel, I was like, yeah, I, I think I've run. That's when I've they, run they jumped the shark at that over. point. I have yeah. no idea what you're talking about, and I still <laughs> feel like I watch too much of it. Yeah, honestly, that's just it. It's a show that I feel like I'm watching out of obligation, not that I'm watching because I enjoy it. You've invested. It's like, it's like doing your taxes what? watching Walking what? Dead. Now, like, fuck, I gotta. Watch Do they know where you buried the bodies? Is that what happened? <laughs> <laughs> we have information on you, Miss Wolf. <laughs> you better watch, watch the show. show. If you don't, we will. Watch if you look into this dossier, you will see all of your little sins. I am the. Uh, what, is, what is Walt saying, uh, Spectre? I am the author. I'm the architect of, of all, all of your, your pain. pain. All of your pain. <laughs> Man. James, James. I'd have been like, yeah, you are now because you see things like the architect of my pain. <laughs> and now I'm in pain. Nobody Obviously. talks like this, James, but me. <laughs> but me, James. Tell me, what Monica Bellucci wouldn't have been a better villain the whole way through. You guys have Dave seen Batista, the Dave Christoph Christoph would have been, been a better villain. We've all seen Brotherhood of the Wolf. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. I mean, Monica Bellucci doesn't get the. She, 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 she's fine. We, we don't count. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> she fine in more ways than one. <laughs> I know. I, I like her and shoot, her, shoot <laughs> him up. Okay, guys. Shoot him up. Well, she shoot him up. Shoot him up. She was great in shoot him up. Yeah, that's when like Paul Giamatti was like fondling her with. Oh, John, when Giamatti didn't give a shit. So that's like, a fuck yeah, I don't care. Fuck. We're making. They don't make movies like that anymore. <laughs> they sure no, don't. No. They they can't. Well, we got John Wick. We got some John. Yeah, Wick. John Wick. <sighs> eh, pretty sick. It's not the it's not the same. I'm talking like constantly. You know. Yeah. Constantly, like movies like that would that, that would come out all the time. Like ballistics. That would be the time X where you versus get... sever. Oh, yeah. ballistic X versus yeah. sever. Yeah. Or assassins Jeez. with Banderas and Stallone. With I the mean, greatest with... meme of all time. Oh, I've discovered something. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it, make it, make Antonio Banderas great again. The good old blockbuster days. Oh, <laughs> blockbuster, blockbuster video. video. Wow, <laughs> what, what a, a difference! difference. Uh, there's, there's still one left. It's up in the uh, Pacific Northwest, <laughs> up in Oregon. Still hanging on. <laughs> oh my it's, god! It's the one that uh, Bigfoot shops at. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> it Nobody will find me really here. 
I don't know why I got a VCR <laughs> in the woods, but fuck it. I'll, I'll go. Sitcom idea: Bigfoot running a blackbuster video in the Pacific oh, Northwest. Oh, Someone write yeah. it all big of the hand myths. and put it on TBS. The Superstation. All the I myths, all the like Loch, Loch Ness monster. What shops happens there. when Bigfoot works at the Chupacabra stops there? Or is it Harry and the Hendersons? Oh yeah. I would watch the hell out of it. I would watch the fuck out of that. Okay, put Matthew Barry as the fucking uh, uh, Sasquatch. I'm call, all in. Call it I'm a all in. Crypto video or something like that. Crypto oh, zoology. Oh, video or guys, it's writing itself. Crypto it's writing video. Itself. Wow. Let's, 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 let's take a break and then we'll play a game. Oh, God. Now I want to watch that show. Yeah. I want to watch, like, this, who, make who's coming happen. in this week? Oh, look, it's uh, Dracula. Oh. <laughs> It's me, Dracula. It's me, Dracula. You I have to uh, move. red shoe daddies in the back. <laughs> I need the soft core stuff today. <laughs> it's been a long time. Tweed? <laughs> you have any shut and tweed? Please, come on. So this thing we want to do, what exactly is it? I think it's a podcast. I think he just made that word up. Well, anyway, what would it be about? Uh, it can be about those things we see in the things, you know, with the pictures and the acting, and sometimes Ryan Gosling. Oh, you mean films? Yeah, those. We can talk about those. And Ryan Gosling. And what would we call it? Women who speak weirdly? Uh, ladies? Young ladies? All the single ladies? Mm. Oh, wait, I know. Oh, chicks with accents. Yeah, and we could use that song from the Beatles and that movie, Across the Universe. Cool. Yeah. Listen to the Across the Universe podcast, brought to you by the Chicks with Accents. Available just about everywhere. Say what you will about this next segment, but... Well, I really have no any retort to any criticism lobbed at it. It say anything. Say anything. This is the game where I force people to say something good about something they hate mm. or something bad about something they love because I'm a sadist. Jeanette, Justin, Matthew, are you ready? I guess no. so. This, this sounds intense. It's intense. It's extreme. Uh, it, last time we did this, somebody died. Somebody <laughs> did die. It was a dead body. <laughs> you had to bury it. Yep. Uh, Jeanette, mm -hmm. say something bad about James T. Kirk. Oh, that's easy. I can talk about the Chris Pine version. <laughs> no, no, no. Say something <laughs> bad about the William Shatner, James T. Kirk. Don't try. Don't try to cheat. Don't cheat. <laughs> oh, he, he can often be a little too headstrong. He doesn't. He could use a little more Picard in terms of maybe think a little bit before you rush in with your fists up. You don't have to punch God in the face. Maybe you can talk to him first. Mm. Why does God need to him? Why does God need to him? <laughs> you know that's. <laughs> That's not a very good answer because the reality is that's one of the things I like about him. Met God, punch him in the face. Break. <laughs> Why would God? Punch God right in the face. <laughs> um, yeah, it probably, here's a terrible thing about him. Um, oh, God, you're going to out him right now. Aren't yeah. You're going to out him right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. The, the source of several uh, new and uh, previously undiscovered STD strains throughout the galaxy. Mm. The architect of everyone's pain. <laughs> I, I believe it. Plenty he forced himself on many alien yeah, many women. He didn't, he didn't force women. himself. He just did not say no. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. Hey, do you want to have sex with me, Mr. Kirk? <laughs> sure. Like, like, no, I mean, you <laughs> already <laughs> did. <laughs> You're the one who asked me. That's right. God! <laughs> Yeah, not not that great. Okay, here you go. Not you great. have AIDS. Uh, <laughs> AIDS. AIDS. Leadership AIDS. style only balanced out by his first officer and his doctor, being that he was the hothead, balanced out by the brain and the heart, both kept externally in Spock and McCoy. Mm. Right, that's about as much as I can give you on that. God damn it, Jim. You can't have sex with all these aliens. That's Who says I can't? <laughs> God damn it, I'm a doctor. Well, not your sex physician. Literally. I I'm a doctor. I'm your doctor. Stop oh, doing this. Stop it. <laughs> I'm literally your doctor. You have, oh, you're you're going to turn to into bones. <laughs> and the Spock being like, yeah, it is illogical for you to fuck every girl you meet. Uh, Jim, Jim, yeah. you're going to get space aids. I'm just going to tell you, Jim. It's logical. Dick fell off six years ago, Jim. <laughs> six years ago. You know, something we, you know, we never I would say you're thinking with your cock, but it fell off six years ago. We, we do talk about, this is the running gag with Star Trek is that Kirk sleeps with everything. We never consider that in the fact in the 23rd century, there's probably very, very high level uh, contraception at that point. 
Come on, so maybe maybe it's, maybe, maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Kurt's got a space condom. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Kirk, got one of those space comms? Oh, yeah, sure. Right here. Zip cock to stud. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Matthew. Let me just spray it with some Windex. <laughs> space Windex. Say something bad, Matthew, about John Carpenter. John Carpenter? Um, hmm. Well, um, mm. I think... He's not a carpenter. He's certainly <laughs> he not. He's things. not Jesus. <laughs> He's real bouncy. Real bouncy. Real bouncy. <laughs> I think he really needs to do something about his hair and his mustache. Because it looks really fucked up right now. Like he needs to like he's on a watch like, list. Like he needs he needs a queer eye makeover. John Carpenter joins queer eye. It's like You're still watching God, queer eye. Johnny, you can't you gotta cut your hair, Johnny. Enough. Johnny, what's going on with his hair? This gray hair <laughs> is enough. Um Let me see, uh what I don't know. I was I mean, going through Netflix and I saw Queer Eye and I was like, "Oh, there's Matt's show, right?" Yeah, I love that show, man. <laughs> Show's good. Running through that show. I'm, like I, I look, I look through my closet now, and I'm like, "Wow, I have all this clothes they talked about." I'm like, "I'm cool." <laughs> <laughs> I made it. I made queer it. Eye it's like approved. Queer Eye approved. My closet is Queer Eye approved. Uh, there John, go. John Carpenter. Um, I think he's just like an old fuddy duddy now. I don't know. I don't think he, I don't think he really gives a shit about anything. <laughs> is he still? Uh, when was the last time he made anything? And is he still composing all the music? He's making. I know he oh, makes the music for the new did, Halloween movie. Like, yeah, well, he, he works. He, he did Lost Tracks. He did those soundtracks with his son that are really good, actually. So I mean, I love. Yeah, yeah, they're on Spotify. Yeah, they're fucking fan fucking tastic. Hmm. Um, I, I think it was a missed opportunity that he never made a sequel to uh, Ghosts of Mars. <laughs> wow. About that? I was hoping you'd say the thing there, but apparently... No, the, the, the thing is over. Mars. The thing is over. What? Oh, fuck, fuck. Well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Speaking of, oh, wait, speaking of yes, the thing, yes, the thing yes, is a masterpiece. Okay, okay. Speaking of the thing, there's, there's, a new, uh, there's a new video game just like the thing. I think it's called uh, Distrust. It's a video game you can buy, uh, I think, on the Xbox and PS4. And it's just like the thing. Really? Yeah. I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up. I don't know if I trust you. I don't you. trust you. I, I, sure, trust I don't you. know. Uh, I'm real. If you if you were if you were a perfect uh, uh, replication, like real perfect, how, how would you know what I'm going to say? Right now? <laughs> Wait, is that, is that Keith David? Yeah, this is. <laughs> is that Keith wow. David. Damn, boy! <laughs> Did you just fall into Keith David? <laughs> it just fell right into his lap. Like, I didn't hey, bring it out. I didn't bring it out for him. <laughs> All right, uh, requiem for a dream reference here. Wow. Uh, Big references. Requiem for a dream reference. Sure. All right, here we go. Uh, Justin, this pains me. No. Say something bad about Jack Power. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't even know where to begin. He could never catch his damn breath. And, <sighs> Chloe, that's too much heroin. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, we've <laughs> there's terrorists on the bridge. <laughs> Chloe, For a guy probably that. Shape, yeah, his car probably better. Probably that he didn't allow Chloe to die. <laughs> <laughs> he saved somebody's never, life. Is the best. That one up. <laughs> I mean, there's been many times Chloe could have died and. The real Jack would have just been Justin, like, head of the Chloe fan club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get me emails now. And here comes the emails. Chloe is up. The most annoying character in TV Agreed. history. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, it's funny. Um, I didn't even watch that show. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> you just agree. Oh, my God. Tell you, every time I That's see her sad. after it, she annoys me. I, I told I told Just, you my my mother well, you always know. said that when she saw Twenty Four, and she looks looked at Chloe. She goes, she looks like she, like, like she smells shit yeah, <laughs> she yeah. all the time, all the time. <laughs> yeah, it, there, I mean, even the characters in the show. I, I know that you've never seen it, but there's times where there's a very serious dramatic scene going down, and Chloe needs to do something, and she's like, I can't. Somebody else, the director, told me to do this. And then Jack would always be like, God damn it, Chloe! Yeah. Just do, do it, it Chloe! And then Shut he the rolls his eyes. Like, <laughs> like a 13-year-old girl, he like rolls his eyes. God damn it, like, I just shit. need you. Like, do you trust me? God. And that's like every episode for like eight seasons after that. Well, there's your bad thing. Constantly abusing people's trust of him. Mm. Well, it works. It's just he allows Chloe to fuck up all the time. <laughs> and, and we say, he's still um, touring with his band? <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland? <laughs> What's the name of that Him and band? his Christmas tree? The CTUs? <laughs> what are they called? CTUs. <laughs> Kiefer in the CTUs! Come to the, the stage right now. Uh, Kiefer Sutherland. 
CTU sounds like that Star Trek uh, sexual transmitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kirk, you got oh, some man. CTUs. <laughs> got some CTU on the uh, groin area. I don't know how to tell you this, Kirk, but... Uh... Your CTU. Case of the ERs and CTUs. I, I think it you... makes more sense to be like, I don't know how to tell you this, Kirk. You've got the keepers. Ooh, you have some Sutherland. <laughs> Ooh, you got some Sutherland, Kirk. I don't know what to tell you. And if you see a Christmas tree, you will run up and jump into it. Hey, it, it could have been a Topanga. Count your blessings, all right? Wait, that's the disease? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but we're in space. There's not many Christmas trees. I, 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 I don't even you. believe in there Christmas. Is, <laughs> we have no idea. But when there space. is... <laughs> You will. I don't want to drink right man. now. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Jack Jack Bauer. I mean, he's there's a lot of great shit about that guy. I mean, it's it's really hard to say. Other that's than the point of the game, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, that's the you Chloe like. thing. There's many times I just wish, like, when Chloe gets captured or saw him, he's just like, you know what? I'm gonna go get a Whopper over at the <laughs> Burger King. Chloe, I'm really hungry. I, I'll be there in a couple minutes. <laughs> Please, take we're, we're gonna kill her in, in three minutes. No. Yeah, well, I'll, let's I'll, that's why it's called fast way. food. Don't worry, I'm coming. Somewhere on the corner. Because that that role that she plays, the first season there was somebody else, and then they died. The second season there was somebody else, and they mm -hmm. died. So it's replaceable. <laughs> Just didn't need her that long. <sighs> That's my okay. Answer. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Chloe has never. It's turned into a hate Chloe session, not a Jack yeah. Bauer hate session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't like the. I mean, the actress I'm fine with. You know, Larry Sanders is one of my favorite shows yeah, of all time, good. and she's on there. Um, and she is annoying on that show as well. That's her wheelhouse, man. But mm -hmm. yeah, but it works for there. You know, for terrorism, it works for that. Uh, Jeanette. Yep. Say something bad about the first Jurassic Park. The first Jurassic the Park. First. <sighs> dun, 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 first. First. Condos. Condos. I've got condos down here. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be tough. I'll tell you what. I read the first book prior to that movie coming out. I, I actually was a big Michael Crichton fan. I've read most of his stuff. I really like it. Um, Sphere was good. That movie didn't make it. I, my favorite is Timeline, the, the book. Yeah. Timeline I'm about to say, yeah. is Timeline your favorite film? Paul no, Walker no, no, no. in Timeline. <laughs> Timeline is my favorite book. The the movie was okay. Hey, hey Matt, you going to say Miami, bro? <laughs> Hey man, you gonna come back to Miami, bro? You gonna come back like, in time, bro? I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, not going anywhere. It's, it's a shame he went back I, okay, in time into that here's post. Here's my problem with the first movie. I got it. I got it. I got it. In that two and a half hour movie, there is about twenty minutes of actual dinosaur on screen action. And that's Jaws. That's the whole Jaws effect. I, I know, but I could have used more. But because Jaws honestly, that is like the one more. that had the best. Um, practical Stan Winston dinosaurs. That full-size T-Rex is mind-blowing. It holds up. When you watch that now, that thing is incredible. And that movie, listen, I took a dinosaurs class in college. I got an A, and I got an A because we had to... Because I watched Jurassic Park every class. day. <laughs> it was a geology course. Most of the people taking the class were not geology people. We were just excited to have a dinosaurs class, so there were a lot of, like, kindergarten teachers. Were there, were there dinosaurs then? No. <laughs> I was an Hi, artist. I'm Teddy T Rex. I'm here to teach you in this. <laughs> My final project was uh, the role of the artist in the perception of dinosaurs, and the reason you know what a T Rex looks like is because of Stan Winston. Because once he created that dinosaur, and ILM put it on screen and gave it that sound, you now like if That's I say, true. "Well, you know what a T Rex sounds like," you'd be like, "Yeah, of course I know yeah. what a T Rex sounds like." There's no way you have any idea what a T Rex sounds like, but because of that movie. You have a general conception where you're like, I absolutely know what a T-Rex both looks like, acts like, and sounds like. And it's because yeah. of the artists involved in that movie. Yeah, because they're constantly changing what they think certain dinosaurs Absolutely. The paradigm the changes they all the time of how they stood, how they moved, how they acted. And, and ironically, the Michael Crichton book. Fucking Steven Spielberg. If you read movie. the Jurassic Park book, it's written when he was still a science fiction writer and then if you read the lost world book he has become a science fiction writer <laughs> where he's like recalled he suddenly has learned oh they're gonna make all my shit into movies i'm gonna write these a little more cinematic uh -huh. i'm gonna because i'm gonna hold this book right park. here the lava lantula book <laughs> put it in my pocket for later the first <laughs> jurassic park book one? half of that is charts and graphs and science and mathematics and equations and chaos theory you're like i don't get any of this but the second one is all kind of cinematic action and things like that. So yeah, I yeah okay. So it backtrack answering the actual question, playing the actual game. 
Uh, not enough dinosaurs in the movie. No one plays the game. <laughs> the game is the game. The game is the game. The game is actually the game. I would say that it did good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the problem. <laughs> oh, I think it's good. It's, it's the architect of our pain. after it was just terrible. It's yeah. the architect of sequel pain? Is that what it was? Yeah, you, yeah. you, you, you could definitely you could say that. Well, no, not I everything was money. terrible. There are parts of the others that I love. I, I, love, I love Lost, I love Lost World. I take Lost World, World over the first one. You know why, right? Because Jeff fucking Goldblum's the star. That's why I like the Lost World. He didn't spend half the movie injured laying on a table? No, no. He was doing <laughs> shit. Like having a he black daughter. Well, I, I he was. He was. Always I had a black daughter. I had a black Always daughter. Who does the nasty? Enjoyed it because there was no explanation. No need to yeah, say so anything it, about he's it. Got a black daughter. Whatever. Well, nature yeah. finds a way. Yeah. <laughs> nature finds a way. I don't know how to tell you this, Ian. Uh, you're you white. I'm white. What the fuck? <laughs> and the white's like, hey, oh, nature that. finds That's a way. Right. He's like, I have to agree. Yeah, agree. Check out my family so bloodline here. The way you're saying is that the milk a guy. white man and a white woman can create a black daughter. No, no, no. What I we never seen her. We never seen her. It could be Naomi Campbell. We have no idea. Oh, damn, imagine that. Yeah, imagine that. Imagine Jeff Goldblum wow. and Campbell. Close your eyes and imagine Jeff Goldblum. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm willing to bet that, that has happened. They uh, yeah, it's true. ran in a <laughs> yeah. couple of the same circles. Hi, uh, uh, I'm Jeff. Uh, like, you're, you're a model. Like, That's interesting. That's like, interesting. It's like, hey, hello, uh, Jeff. Uh, would you like to come back to my uh, Bordeaux uh, abode? Now Sounds I like don't hit you with a phone. Yeah, 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 after yeah. I throw this phone at my assistant. Uh, go, yes. ahead. Yes. go ahead, you go ahead, that's interesting. Bitch. <laughs> I don't and know then why. Over you... on the left side of the corner, you see Russell Crowe going, I love, oh, I love that woman. I love that woman. Justin, say something yes, bad about Goodfellas. Hmm. <laughs> Justin just died. <laughs> too, too much cursing. <laughs> what? There's never too enough much, cursing. Maybe not enough cursing. <laughs> No, you're, you're not a right up. spider. You got a lot of fucking problems. Mm. <laughs> Karen! 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 Why'd you do that, Karen? Karen! Karen. Why'd you do that, Karen? Karen. Yeah. Ah. Oh. What you got for me? What you got for me? This is a rough one. This is a rough and tough one. I know. Maybe we never got to see the dishwasher work? <laughs> what? <laughs> Stretch. That's why I got you the dishwasher. Stretch. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Man, that is that's a, a great pull right, right there. there. That's a super. That's, that's you gotta know Goodfellas to get deep. that one. <laughs> that's deep. I think I might go with that, even though I was joking around, <laughs> because I'm really having a hard time thinking. Sam L. Jackson's not, not enough screen time. Um. Oh, yeah. I mean, stacks screen time. <laughs> he did. Yeah. I thought you, you went with one of your bitches. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, what a movie. What a fucking film. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't huh. think, I don't think we played this game good. <laughs> Isn't that the point of the game, though? No, the, the, the point is to be shitting on Goodfellas. Shit played. on Goodfellas. Do it. You can't shit on Do Goodfellas. Do it. Tell me something evil. Tell me I something think bad. It's a thing that this wasn't the this wasn't the film that launched Debbie Mazar into the stratosphere of actresses yeah. that we all know. Oh, that's, that's hey. Debbie Mazar. Yeah. It well, did start that nonsense Mazar. about the. What, what, how do you mean I'm funny? What do you? What am I, clown? Are you? And then that appears in everything yeah. else but, from but that it, point. It, but in a vacuum, that scene is amazing. It's in a, a vacuum, yes. Yeah, but we're not in a vacuum anymore. Correct. Yeah, in a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, it's not its fault. I mean... No, it's not his fault. He did a great job, but... You know what's funny dog. about that scene that people don't... That always, everybody brings up the Joe Pesci thing. To me, mm -hmm. the funniest part of that scene is fucking Ray Liotta. <laughs> you really uh, are a funny laugh. guy. He's like... <laughs> Laughing like a maniac. You laugh like a yeah. fucking maniac. You're like a fucking vulture. <laughs> That's that is some of the worst overacting I've seen. Is Ray really one of the least. creepiest dudes on the planet? Yes, he is. Yeah. No one really said he was a great actor to begin. Yeah. With. Yeah. What about these non-smoking commercials? The Chantix commercials he's doing now. Have you seen the Chantix? Is he really? Yeah. He's like, I finally quit what? smoking with Chantix. I'm Ray Liotta. And I fucking quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, I quit smoking, that, Karen. Quit smoking. <laughs> I've tried, tried in the past, but this is the only thing that's worked for me. I'm like, okay, Ray Liotta, I, I believe you. I quit smoking um, cigarettes, but I'm doing heroin now. So you guys remember? I know you've all seen it. Um, the Jason Statham movie, the Huey Bowl movie. Oh God, uh, King, 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 King oh, Commander, oh, Dragon, King, something. King, King. Yes, 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 yes. Once upon a King of something. Where eighty percent of the budget was spent on Ray Liotta's coat. Yes. <laughs> that sounds like it, it needs to be on the list, buddy. Justin, put that on the list. It's got that Ron Coleman and Jason Statham plays ahem, Farmer. 
farmer. I, yeah, hey, farmer. You know what I mean? I'm a farmer. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't see that movie <laughs> that once. Too, isn't he? And I remember that. Oh, it was it's bad. It's stuck with it's me. Bad. But the devil's also say... Matthew Lillard in it. it oh Jesus. Oh Christ. well. Hey Scoob! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like Zoinks, Boy. man, is it this Jason Statham over there, Scoob? Guys, you know what that movie needs? Probably a simplistic uh, uh yeah, I told you put it on the list. Put it on the Ooh, list. Bee. Ooh, bee. Oh yeah, I'll have to put it on the list. Oh, the the, that might be a good one to do. Have you guys made the list Little Tokyo yet? If you do showdown in Little Tokyo, I want to be on that one. But that's so that movie's good. <laughs> we don't need oh, to do that. Right. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. Never. We send up watching the movie. Yeah, obviously. Like, oh shit! Look, that's a, this. Yeah, we've done that a few times where we watched okay movies, and you just like the commentary just does. Yeah, it's like well, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, like <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of silence. Quiet. Oh, like, oh, and you're like, well, this is a good scene. It's, it's like scene. shut up. I like this scene. This is the scene where Brandon Lee comments about Dolph Lundgren's dick. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Easily one of the best sequences in the history of movies. I'm like, did Brandon Lee just say you have the biggest dick I've ever seen on a man in a movie? He did, he did say <laughs> he that. He said that line. That happened. Oh, and right. then he giggled afterwards. And, and again, I'm sad that we never got more Brandon Lee. And then he got shot. Anyway, oh, uh, <laughs> Matthew. Uh, I would say, real quick, oh, yeah, go ahead. To, to answer your question, mm. It should have been more at the end uh, with Henry Hill oh. going off in protection. Yeah, they kind of skipped over I that. wish we saw more of that. Oh, okay. yeah, I can go with that. Yeah, because they kind of skipped right. right over the court thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, hey, we're running That's, out of time. Let's wrap this up. Wrap this up, wrap up. Uh, speaking of wrap it up, Matthew, say yeah. something bad about Spaceballs, you son of a bitch. Say something bad about Spaceballs? Spaceballs the lunchbox. Spaceballs the flamethrower. Say something bad about Spaceballs. Joan Rivers, I John Candy, fucking Bill him. fucking Pullman. I, the, we're combing the desert scene. Oh my Comb god. Comb the desert! So like, we ain't found shit! We ain't found shit. Um, you know what? Still holds up. Dottie, <laughs> Daphne Zaniga, Prince Valium, who's yawning all the time. Say something bad about it. Space balls? Oh shit. Then it was the planet. Is, too uh, Jewy? Oh, yeah, oh. Not good. Jewy. it hits a little too close to home. Not Jewy enough. Like, Come on, we get it. Yes, everybody's a Jew. The whole universe is made of Jews. The greatest um, Rick Moranis performance of all time. Possibly. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'm putting it up there. Who's beating Dark Helmet? He's, he's got a lot of good ones. He gets Him and Ghostbusters helmet. when he gets locked out of his party. Come on. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, he's <laughs> gonna have a party later. He's made Lois on the air! <laughs> <laughs> the best scream ever. The best scream ever is pretty good. Like, <laughs> but guy. he has the line of space balls. Good always loses because good is dumb. Because good is dumb. <laughs> good is dumb. Oh, <laughs> God. The Schwartz is almost as big as mine. Uh, he did it. Um. <laughs> We're, we're just laying off lines. You can't find anything. You know, bad. Find something bad. My issue with like this Mel Brooks in general is like the lampooniness and like the satire gets a little too much. Like, oh my god, it's so much for me sometimes. I don't know, Sanders, it's chicken. You don't like? I that? don't know. I mean, uh, ludicrous. Is there? I, I feel like there's a reason why they don't make movies yeah. like this anymore. Yeah, well, but yes. I, yeah, can't it's, do them. I don't know. There's something about it. You can't. Can't do it. It seems like these movies can't were, so they're lost in time. It's why you don't get movies anymore. They don't work. I mean, the Hot Shots was what the last one they did. Yeah. Well, yeah. When, when was uh, real? No, not real. Hot Shots is probably the one. Well, then they did scary movies. Top scary movies. Yeah. Top secret. And there's yeah, there's a couple of people who are still doing like those knockoff ones. There's a Twilight. Yeah, they're really shit. they're super they shit. It's like I don't fucking get yeah. it. Like, and they're movie. too they're too heavy handed. They're yeah. literally like yeah. they're pointing out their own jokes. Hey, look, Iron Man is here. It's like, yeah, exactly. Hey, 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 exactly. <laughs> so I guess it I, misses the finesse of the yeah. Zazz movies. Of so I guess I blame Spaceballs for like creating an, an entire like series of movies that thought it was gonna be better than that. So, mm. but. Without Spaceballs, you'd be in less place. Are they still remaking Spaceballs? I hope that? not. I, I think it, it, it can't. If you're not going to uh, give me... If I'm not getting we live in a Marantis, dark world. Anything's possible. Oh, God. If, you, if I can't get Dark I, Helmet, I guess, I'm out. I don't want it. I wasn't a big fan of Bill Pullman in that movie. I don't know. Really? Maybe that's my biggest gripe. I'm, I'm, not a big, I'm not a big Bill Pullman fan. You don't fan. like the I'm President of the United States? States? Come on, man. Like, oh, Fourth of July. Yeah, we yeah, will yeah. not go quietly. Quietly into that night? night? 
He might have the greatest yeah. presidential speech in cinema. Today, history. we celebrate our Arbor Day. And what? honestly, what makes that speech so good that at the beginning he has to turn on the thing twice because he didn't right. get it on the first time? That dude is so incredibly relatable. Yeah, and then after he's like, so many... my crowd size is the biggest we've ever seen. This is the biggest <laughs> war <laughs> of all the wars. <laughs> of all the you intergalactic wars. Everybody likes me, even the aliens Even came the back. aliens just, like me. Just I because love my... some of us are sitting around praying for an alien invasion to wipe out our president. Those aliens, they're <laughs> rapists and they're thieves. Yeah, thieves <laughs> and rapists. And I like them. They yeah. voted for me. You guys are making me want to go back and watch Blazing Sandals. Oh, or yeah. Hot Shots. Or Top Secret. Oh, well, Top Secret is one I gotta... Or Robin. Or, or fucking Airplane. <laughs> airplane is cool. Oh, there you go. First, never do Airplane. I, I tell you what, you know what does it for me? Lloyd Bridges in any of them, yeah, but yeah. in particular in Hot Shots. When you couldn't like, oh, do that gonna... cockpit scene with the boy. Hey, Look, have you ever seen no, no, you could. You, you can never do that. You now. couldn't do you half of think... Blazing Saddles, like no. the entire movie. <laughs> you can't make any movies from the '80s anymore. No. It's you can't even do the Naked Gun anymore. But you can do other stuff. See, that's the thing. It, it's art has always reflected society, and you have to be able to grow and evolve as it grows and evolves. You could still do amazing stuff. You just have to be willing to grow and evolve. Yeah. 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 Oh, sorry. We're getting deep here. Uh, <laughs> Look out. Quick, Look out now. Let's get Look undeep. Jeanette, say something good about the concept of metachlorians. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get nerdy good here. Here we go. <laughs> Mitochondria. Okay. <laughs> well, listen. What we know about metachlorians, in, in reality, they were mentioned once in the first prequel, and then... <laughs> Never Mentions again, of them right? kind of get wiped away. Yeah. Um, I I will say my favorite, not my favorite scene, but something I hold closest to my heart is the scene in Empire where Yoda straight up explains the Force. It's the connection between us, between you, me, the tree, the rock. It's the inner connection between all living things, inanimate things, between everything. It's what holds the galaxy together. It binds us. It, it, luminous beings are we, not this crude <laughs> matter. It, it felt like by introducing the midichlorians, Lucas was attempting to take a step back and explain that on a on a more realistic level. The problem was we didn't need a realistic level. It's it's an ethereal concept. It's a, it's a mm -hmm. higher level concept. We don't need it explained. You don't have to tell me there's bacteria in my blood that are causing the force. It makes no sense. Um, wasn't wasn't uh, Lucas planning on doing three movies just taking place within the chlorines? <laughs> That's what I heard. I would make something. <laughs> it would have been interesting. Kind of a prequel to the prequels. Um, mm, inside Metachlorine you are. Mm. <laughs> something good about them. It does provide an interesting... If you twist it, and honestly, I, I'm trying to think of any of the books ever mention them. Like He mentioned them in the movie, and then none of the fans who were writing the books in the EU ever mention it again. That's, that's very um, true. It provides an interesting explanation for Anakin. If truly the midichlorians are what conceived him, uh, then if you look at it from the point of view of that this is some sort of <laughs> space infection. <laughs> that uh, oh, Captain Kirk at it again. <laughs> that what's her name? Uh, what, the hell, what the hell is his mother's name? Is Star he, Wars he, just a, a, is created based upon Star Trek screwing around, creating STDs yes. around the universe? <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> Possibly. Um, Kirk I, is Anakin's father. You communist. Communist yeah, comment. Yeah, I, if, if that's the explanation, that this parasite in Shmi's blood is the reason she conceived and gave birth to the shatter point of the accepted Star Wars universe. Um, that is a good thing about them. Period. Not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it really is Not good enough. That's why it's tough. It's a tough mm -hmm. game to play. It is, it is. Because it, there's really nothing good about midichlorians. No. Uh, Justin. Yes. <sighs> See that we, uh... Say something good about George Clooney's Batman. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming with the fucking fastballs today, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckleball sandwich. That we only got Knuckleball one of it. Yeah. What? Really? You said Batman. Yeah. Yeah. You like this Batman? I like him, huh? I, I, no, I like him. I like him more as Bruce Wayne. Mm. But... Oh, now that's an interesting point. He's a good yeah. Batman. He's a good. He's a good Wayne. You didn't say. It. You didn't say. It. You said Batman. I did say Batman. Say, you said Batman. Say, some, say something good about his uh, Batman. 
I, well, I'll tell you what. If bad guys are trying to shoot at him, it's going to be real hard because he keeps moving his damn head the whole time. So it, it, <laughs> him. He's always very prepared, too. Somehow he realizes he he's always got to have perfect. fucking ski, you know, ski boots, ice skates in yeah, his fucking yeah, yeah. shoes. He had a credit card. Um, yeah, that was the one with the credit card, yeah. too. Don't leave the that, happened. Right. That, that, that happened. That was the first time they ruined Bane. Oh, God. What? <laughs> oh, whoa. Where's the zinger? Uh, <laughs> where's the zinger? <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you food in charge. <laughs> um, the good thing about George Clooney's Batman is that it happened. <laughs> because <laughs> Fair enough. because Fair. the misery train that started with Batman Forever mm. came to a crashing finish yes it did mm. so it was the hell mary that i think we needed <laughs> <laughs> hey, I that was confusing mind I, chris I'm, O'Donnell I'm robin i mean chris o'donnell was a capable robin but he was capable 40 robin. he was like 35 years old he was 40 he was years 1980s old 1980s teenager he was the robin. man wonder to be fair, does anybody really want a 10 year old robin nobody does uh Listen, a Brian Singer do we need a Robin? Here's the problem. We are all <laughs> completely and totally spoiled by the 90s Batman animated series, right? Yeah. When, it, when someone says, who's your Batman? You're Never heard of Obviously, <laughs> Kevin Conroy, because Kevin Conroy is the best Batman. Yeah, Establish well, what needs to be done as Bruce Wayne, what needs to be done as Batman. Establish the best parts of the villains. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. Yes, masterpiece theater that was. And then when <laughs> Batman Forever came out, it was a wacky time. Wacky. And then Batman and Robin wacky. came out, and I said, holy fucking shit. Tommy holy fucking I was like 12 years old. And, uh, nipples. I, I, nipples I, on nipples the back everywhere. Well, that's the least of its problems, honestly. <laughs> but honestly, <laughs> since it happened, it happened. And we got some good stuff after that. Yeah, so. the good thing is it was only one. Yep. Hey. Well, yeah, one and a half. You could yep. say it was so bad, it, you know, it, it gave you uh, Chris Nolan's Batman. Both. Well, that's what well, I'm well, saying. Yeah, that's what, so that's what Justin just saying. Oh, that's what you're saying? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's that's what I'm I had a mild stroke there. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it, it was it was the end. It, it, it hit the wall. Yeah. And they you know? didn't make any comic book movies for a long time. Until yeah, Blade, I guess. Until Blade. Long time. Yeah. Blade, yeah. Blade came yeah. in. It was like, I was And that was great. Fuck up people. People said, oh! Uh, what's this sounds like you called that killing <laughs> some motherfuckers <laughs> always trying to ice skate up here <laughs> easily one of the best lines ever I, I mean I still don't know what it means but it's awesome as fuck. I don't know it's either awesome. but, it is the yeah. best I also love the there's worse things out tonight than vampires me oh yeah, oh, yeah. what <laughs> sword flip sword flip sword flip into yeah. giant trench coat like, like me you can slice him you can dice him quit man just keep talking oh you just like Come it because of Donald Logue Matthew I know you well, fuck, it needs the best. What Donald about the Logan. fact that Matt Schulze is in Blade 1 as that uh, wimpy little dude who gets his hand chopped off by the sword trick, and then Matt Schulze goes away, works out for two years straight, comes back and is in Blade 2 as one of the blood pack. Oh, my God. See, that's wow. a super pole. Man, that is a fucking deep cut. <laughs> deep, deep cuts. <laughs> Matt Schulze. Yeah. And then wow. uh, Heat Wave previously it was Dracula in Blade Yeah, Blade. yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's uh, oh, that was after he had that John Doe TV show. Anybody watch that John Doe? TV I did watch that John Doe TV show where he's like, Great I can't TV remember show. who I am, and I don't know anything about anything, but I know everything about. Do you everything. ever know how that show concluded? That they when they discovered who he was? No, I don't remember that. You want me to tell you? Yeah, tell me. He was an angel. That oh. angel forgot his name. Great. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, and then he became Dracula. And he became Dracula. Yeah, I'm really born ready to die. Uh, I <laughs> love the part where he's on the building and he throws the baby at Blade. What you said. <laughs> and then Blade catches the baby and Blade goes, Gucci Koo. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> no, it definitely happened. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Wesley Snipes has never in his life said coochie coo. <laughs> I love that. Rock and roll coochie coo. So much. I honestly, listen, Wesley is out there just doing whatever it is Wesley does. Can we taxes. please just get another blade? Can we get another blade? I know he's shooting the Dolomite remake with Eddie Murphy right now. Not looking forward to that. That's Side never going to happen. That, Eddie but Murphy's going to fall out. He's as temperamental as a fucking I, It's almost system. done. It's, it, they've made it. They'll, still, they'll, they'll figure out a way to cancel it. They'll, they'll figure, figure out it. a way. But <laughs> I, I would way. like, I think Wesley still in great shape i think he was great in the expendables 3 i'd like to see another blade movie and i'd like to see him do it because he was the one pushing for marvel movies and, and to have black superheroes before you anybody else knows kevin feige don't want nothing to do with blade until he lost his fucking mind in blade 3 
Well, not, not, no, sorry, not Kevin Feige has nothing to do with Blade. Kevin Feige don't want nothing to do with Wesley Snipes. That's the, there's a lot a of move. ego, uh, with, like Wesley. <laughs> yeah. you there's, a little, there's a little bit of ego. The yeah. Nike <laughs> commercials when uh, Usain Bolt was dragging around the giant head representing his ego. That's what Blade uh, Wesley Snipes drags around a giant yeah. pile of ego with him everywhere mm-hmm. he goes. If but you tweet just, at him, he'll tell you, "Yeah, I'm awesome." <laughs> well, I know he Thank has you. done Thanks for that. Filling in the blanks. <laughs> I have been. I, I have got a response from Wesley Snipes on Twitter, and I was like, "Why are you do? Aren't you supposed be out somewhere? Don't yeah. are, are you supposed to be paying back? I'm not supposed to have a communication he's with working. you. A, he's, he's working. I will <laughs> say though, keep in mind with that tax nonsense. He got caught, got convicted, nonsense. went to jail, served his time. Yes, he did. There are plenty. Oh, we heard of about that with a predator as well. Nonsense, too. holiday uh, Hollywood starlet bitches who get drunk driving. Ooh. Mm. Prime time, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Matthew. Mm-hmm. That's a Freddy line. Yeah, this, I, I, oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's from that movie with that guy. <laughs> that's the guy Thank yeah. you. Uh, Matthew. Prime time. Uh, yes. Say something good. <sighs> Say something good about G.I. Joe: The Rise of Cobra. I like G.I. Joe: The Rise of Cobra. What? <laughs> this I, I got good. this one. <laughs> that movie's fun. What? Are you talking what? about? That's Super- the first one. Is that, is that the first one? Or the no, second? it's the second one. No, that's the first one. Oh. The, f- that's the second the first one? one is Retaliation. Yeah, we all oh, like okay. the second one. Yeah. I like the first one, too. Oh, God. What's wrong with the first one? Oh, everything. The jump. The, Dude, jump the, the answer is Beyond Hoon oh. Lee. <laughs> I don't know. Channing. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> had, had Marlon, had Marlon, had Marlon Wayne's in it, right? Marlon Ray Park. Wayne's. <laughs> Ray Park. <laughs> Ray Park. had one of the Wayne's brothers. The problem of the first movie was addressed and corrected in the second movie. That's why the second movie's better. Yeah, yeah. I like the second yeah, movie. So there you go. Ten minutes. So there you go. If you didn't have the first one, you wouldn't have had the second one in logical sense. Oh, come on. Okay. Just an already You can't have Justin a sequel already used that one. Movie. Justin already know, used that but, one. Say something good about Joseph turn, Gordon-Levitt's Cobra Commander. <laughs> I don't know. I thought. It was, I thought. It was, I don't know. Maybe I have to rewatch it and maybe see if it was really. Oh, that please bad. don't. <laughs> please don't. Rewatch <laughs> that movie. It didn't have like. Well, it had like some. Did it have like weird like mind control stuff going on? Sure. In there? Yeah, they had had, had, had uh, the mummy. He was uh, Zartan. He was whistling everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Love yeah. Arnold Vosloo. Yeah, he's you had, good. You had Sienna uh, Miller playing an American, even though the character she was playing was. Uh, British? German? Yeah, go details. De- de- details. Go. Well, it's like you're de- giving her an accent for what reason? Let's make her her regular accent. She's who directed that? Was it Ste- Stephen Summers? Stephen directed? Summers. That's why uh, your boy shows up. Brennan, oh Brennan God, Fraser shows up. Is That's why Voss looks in it. Yeah. Where the fuck is Stephen Summers? I don't know. I don't know, but I I'm ready for another Stephen Summers. Yeah, the Love summer's right? over. Love we need Stephen. We need oh, Peter Hyams to come back out. and Stephen Summers to come back. Peter Hyams. Oh. Look at this guy. <laughs> Yeah, man. Stay tuned is a fucking modern masterpiece. Stay tuned. Look at it. <laughs> no. A God modern damn. masterpiece. Uh, but yeah, Rise of Cobra. I don't know. It was cool. You I like that shit they, they were using to melt stuff. That was cool looking. Oh, that green, that green uh, CGI goo? Yeah, that was cool looking. CGI goo. The CGI best goo. Kind of- the best kind of goo. I mean, Steven Summers is very good at CGI goo. I think of like there's true. like a lot of goo. Except for The in, Rock's like, face. He's not good at that. He's not good at The Rock's face. <laughs> um, he, he, can't, he can't save The Rock's face. No. The Scorpion King, uh, his face, that was the, the unrendered version, the video game the version. King. Oh, yeah. I thought I was watching a, like a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I've only seen it once, so I mean, I thought it was okay when I was. I was like, "This is kind of cool." You like Dennis Quaid as Hawk? Yeah, why not? It, 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 Dennis Quaid needs work. You like Snake Eyes with lips? <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> I, I, these are the details that I'm like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> it's the same thing with like if I'm watching Transformers. I'm like, oh, cool, it's a talking robot. Right. If you're not, if you if you're not personally tied to the curse. Yes. I'm not That's personally fine. invested in G.I. Joe, yeah. Transformers, none of that stuff I'm personally invested in, so I'm like, fine. oh, yeah. yeah, on a space surface, it's like, hey, that's a cool army man movie. Army, man, army, army, per, army people movie. I, I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be that guy. Army people. Army yeah. people. <laughs> army people. Don't be that I guy. Like the, yeah, I like their uh, underground, uh, underground uh, thing that they have. The, uh, mm-hmm. the cobras in the underground volcano, whatever. Might be like Austin Powers. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go watch some Austin Powers right now. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Say Anything, proving that these guys are pretty bipolar. <laughs> who, who throws a katana blade? Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jeanette, uh, plug your stuff. Did I, did I, did I answer plug your Plug my stuff. 
Yeah, yeah that was an answer. Was, it, it cool. worked. I, I don't right, like it. Away. You, 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 plug it. Judges say? Judges? Judges? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next gets the square. Yes. Whoopi, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plug your stuff. Plug away. You got cancer. Yeah, you can uh, check out my uh, non-professional movie reviews over at my site, the jwardadventures.blogspot.com. I did see the Happy Tom, Happy Land, Happy the Murders, Ooh, the Muppet. What a movie. What a movie. Oh, uh, good listen, for you. I, listen, <laughs> how did that I go? Brian <laughs> Henson, so I wanted to support Brian Henson, yeah, uh, yeah. and so I went. And again, there's a sequence in which Melissa McCarthy gets in a fist fight with a room full of Muppets, and it's hilarious. Yeah. And if that's the only scene you see, you'll be fine with the movie. Um, so there so, you go. Doesn't a Muppet say something to Melissa where he's like, I'll suck your dick? <laughs> yes, there is there is there a is? crackhead. Ooh, wow. There's a crackhead Muppet oh, that is willing to do a, a, a several what? things. Um oh, honestly the best part of the movie is over the end credits where they show the actual Muppeteers and how much fun they're having. And so for them, hooray. They got to have a good time. So they had fun. There's that. So, so this review is on your website right now. Uh no, that will be up this week. It's okay, not up yet, but I'll have that. I want to read it. And then, um, yeah, I, the review of, God, what was the last thing I saw? I don't know. Oh, I saw Peppermint Friday, so that'll be up this week, too. Ooh, Peppermint. Loved it. Oh. The, yeah. the, 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 the live action version of Peppermint Patty from The Peanuts. I, I cannot wait. <laughs> Jennifer Garner's uh, perfect also, casting. Also psychiatrist. The, uh, <laughs> the alias sequel that we've been waiting for. <laughs> Without any Rambaldi. What however. if Sidney Bristow was Charles <laughs> Bronson? Peppermint. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And and I am in unashamedly. Um, and that's is it. her name Peppermint in the movie? No, no, no. It's a reference to something her daughter said. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's oh. not. It's, it's not the best title, peppermint. honestly. Like but like I don't she know. Eat like a lot of York peppermint patties. Yeah, I don't like that title. It's what not a great title. It's not a great title. It's fine though. It's a good movie. It's entertaining. You never get tired of seeing the bad guys get it, and boy, a lot of bad guys get it. Ooh. Mm. Female Ooh. taken. I, I like it. Yeah, uh, and then uh, if you want to catch up on my dance troupe, find out where we're at and what's happening, you can catch us over at tamarindtribalbellydance.com. Uh, we will be in Phoenix in January at uh, yeah. ATS Homecoming, or Reunion, oh. I believe it's called now. So Ooh. there you go. Ooh. And I'll be in Germany in May. Germany. Germany. Look at that. Germany. Uh, Welcome to Germany. Look your trip now from May. <laughs> To Everybody sounds sinister there, even though they're nice people. Welcome to Germany. <laughs> yes, they do. I've bought a country Peru. that did a complete flip too. You know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. They, they'll they'll give you like a gift basket as soon as you come. They're like, thank yeah. you for coming to Germany. Tell everyone you loved it here. Well, and you've seen their national soccer team, right? They're all black. Yeah, that's true. Yes, <laughs> we're trying to make up for lost time. <laughs> we apologize. I, I, I was there last you. year, and they were awesome. So hey, you know, I'll take it. And beer. Beer, oh man, the beer, <laughs> and lots beer. and lots of beer. Hey, it's uh, it's uh, what do you call it? It's uh, Oktoberfest next week in Germany. That's in Munich, true. So. Yeah. Book is that when it is? Is yeah. it? Yeah, it's next week. It I can never, I can never remember what month the Oktoberfest is. Wow, is, is that Germany. like when you forgot about the Alamo? Ooh, the Alamo has a basement. Al- There's not a basement in the Alamo. <laughs> no What's basement the Alamo? in the Alamo. <laughs> uh-huh. What about the basement? Guys, there's there's a movie called Pee Wee Herman. Uh, Matthew, give everybody information. There's a place called Pee Wee. There's a there's a movie called Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> there's a movie called Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Pee Wee right? Herman goes to a movie. <laughs> I would watch that. A short movie. film, a very short film. God, could you would you watch a movie where Pee Wee Herman's like Mr. MST three King movies? That'd be I would watch the fuck out of that. Like I don't as, know if I want to watch Pee Wee go to a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. The last time I went to a movie theater did not end up well. Well, for Pee Wee's Wild did, Side, didn't. <laughs> I mean, everybody got over it. Yeah. You think if Pee Wee, if he got off. Paul Rubens did it now, kind of. you, no, he definitely got off. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Um, you think if he did that now, he would be as forgiven as he was back in the day? That's an interesting question. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Ask Louis C.K. Matthew, give everybody our information. Well, yeah, well he also did that too. <laughs> like a, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> masturbation aside, this yeah. was the Simplistic Reviews podcast for the month of. September. Sure. What episode? What episode are we on here? No, one, 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 one. I don't know. We're in the hundreds, everybody. Thank you to Jay Ward, Jeanette Ward, for being our uh, gracious uh, co-host. Happy to be here. Always a good time. Dealing with stupid bullshit that we deal with. You all guys time. are hella entertaining. Hey, we're something. We're something. All right. We're something extreme. We're, just, we're extreme. We're just three dicks. <laughs> oh, we are. 
bunch of private oh, yeah. dicks over here. Private dicks over here. All right. Well, you can catch the uh, rest of the shenanigans and hijinks and everything else in between at simplisticreviews.net. Uh, you can also go to Instagram, go to Simply Gramming, go to Twitter, Simply Simple Tweeters. Uh, we're doing a lot more video game stuff, or at least Justin's doing some more video game stuff on Twitch and on YouTube gaming. So go to YouTube. Uh, He's go- trying. He's trying. We're we're we're, we're it's it's trying. Like, we're working the kinks out. We're we're, yeah. we're we're unkinking right now. So we're trying not to be as kinky anymore. Playing some Spider Man. No Spider. Yeah, uh, the new Spider Man. That involved. game. Uh, well, it's gonna be trouble for me because uh, be careful. My my left thumb is so swollen <laughs> from one. He looks day. like Pee Herman in the movie uh, with the, <laughs> the fake thumb trying to get. Hit Seriously, I'm not joking. <laughs> I believe it. I, I had I, to stop. It is. I had to stop last night too, where I was like, okay, I need to stop this and it is very much it reminds me of like the first time i got arkham city uh, and yeah just you but don't you realize all of a sudden it's, it's, it's a lot more going on morning and you're like oh my god i've been playing this for it is exceptional i'm yeah. so happy with it yeah it's good it's a good game that game it was... p- screw that game for making me feel some love for fucking dr octavius i'm like <laughs> I-, I like <laughs> this guy I'm supposed to fucking you like the child molester? <laughs> he does look like a child molester. He oh, does look like a child molester. It's like the B2K killers. It's, <laughs> it's a very good game. And uh, I, 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 you like it, Jeanette? Yeah. You like it, right? I like yeah, it a lot. Good. I like it because it, I think Arkham City was my favorite of the the Arkham series. And it's the one that feels, it, it feels like that one. In that yeah. you have to, you're basically, it's free city. You're roaming everywhere. There's a little fighting. bit more complex, though, with the fighting. And a little more complex with the fight. Arm. I cannot yeah. master the, like, upper and then with the web. Because, th- again, because I'm trying to Arkham it. Like, I'm trying to, I know. you know. So it, it's going to take me a while to get used to the buttons. But We'll I'll get there. It. Yeah. Any other information, so. Matthew? Oh, uh, where, where are they? Where, okay. uh, yeah, so sweet. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to do some more video game stuff, you know. We might have some special, maybe, maybe just Spider-Man stuff goes well. Might, maybe even Miss Ward would uh, want to join in and maybe do some commentary on some spider man spider man A little spider man Don't feel obligated. Um, no, well, you, well, you should because we're paying you. Well, <laughs> we are? What? Uh, <laughs> I am. What? Did nobody get the memo? No, I missed the memo. I don't know what's going on. God damn it, man! I know I got tricked. I, know I should I should never take phone calls from uh, Nigeria anymore. <laughs> I am stuck in the airport. My uncle got Please me again. Just give me fifty dollars. Uh, I will give you six thousand dollars. It's works. I gave him my social security number. Oh no! Oh. I got tricked. Let me tell you what damn you did it. wrong there. Mm. And those photos. Oh yeah, those dick pics. Whew, uh, too, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea. She said she loved me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, that's, that's where you. Find oh, what else? So we uh, we got the new commentary up for Killing American Style. That's Killing, Killing American, American Style. Yeah, yeah, we got that commentary up, and uh, you know, another Robinson commentary Dar. coming at you guys. So that's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to start a certain uh, '80s heartthrob that we're going to be working on that commentary pretty soon. So mm, that's gonna be yeah. lots of fun. Yeah, I hope heartthrob, huh? Oh, <laughs> Rico man. was a heartthrob. He throbbed, he he throbbed my heart. <gasps> Oh my God! Are you guys doing? What was that? The name of that movie? The oh, Spy Richard, movie. Uh, we oh, go yes. in. We got to bury the lead a little bit. We're not gonna. We're not gonna let it go yet. But Easily one of my favorites. We might let be that, doing it. Richard Krieger. Hey Jeanette, let, if you want to call in in the middle. <laughs> no problem. But that's the one with the French teacher, right? Oh Halo. yeah, oh, the French teacher. <laughs> getting getting hotter here. Getting, getting a little hotter. steamy. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's good. that's coming at you soon. That's coming up soon. So, well, um, other than that, that's it. Well, for Pee Wee's uh, big thumb, uh, Karen <laughs> and the architect of your pain. Uh, <laughs> I'm Finkleton uh, Pringle Bat saying that glass noodles are gross as fuck. That's right. <laughs> glass noodles. Those glass noodles. Noodles. Oh, noodles. Oh boy. Glass noodles. Oh, boy. Noodles. Oh, boy. Noodles. Don't eat those no noodles. noodles. To do I eat glass noodles, but I go get with it. See, if you guys know we're we're spoofing here, you're cool. <laughs> you you made it. Wow. You, We've spoofed you. Spoofed you. Spoofed you. <laughs> Thanks for listening to another episode of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. Now that you've, well, I have no better way to put it other than, survive the episode. Go outside. Breathe some fresh air. Hug your family and rejoice that you're not as twisted and demented as these goofballs. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com. Who am I kidding? If you listen to the show, you're likely some sort of prison inmate, unable to do any of those things.